to uh, we're usually friends. Mm-hmm. Today we are not friends. You are op. Mm-hmm. I already knew it. I could smell it on you. What? As soon as you good. walk in, you smell just like an op. Smell oppy. Just like a nigga. Yeah. I don't like. Where? I ain't smell like Paco. Nah. I ain't smell like Paco. No Paco Not the Paco Bone Poppy. Not smelling like Paco Bone Poppy. Not Imagine at all. That. Smelling like an op. We're Girl. rivals today, guys. House of Slater. First of thy name. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. First of thy name today. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You get what I'm saying? You House of Slater. I'm fans. hanging my fucking sigil <laughs> and it's war. I'm a Targaryen, mm-hmm. nigga. A Targaryen, I, yo, that guy, that guy got they a got, flow. Come on, they, they got Aegon and all them, right? It, it, that was good. I know that what's was going good. on. That was good. I know what's yo, going Reggie, on. Who are you? Um, I don't know. I don't watch that show, but let's not, not let's not put the spotlight on me. Because, <laughs> that's Reggie Snow. That's yeah. Reg Snow right there. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Reggie Snow. She looked like a snow. Yeah. I just want to be a Lannister. That's it. Cause you're a freak. Wait, which one is Daenerys? <laughs> uh, uh, Targaryen. Targaryen. You, oh, well, you're already claiming that. Yeah. Okay. You got yeah, dragons and all. I mean, they do have incest. In 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 the in the world. That's not making weird now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for today. Mm-hmm. We are doing different. something that we haven't done in a very long, actually ever. Ever, ever. yeah. We, I don't think we, we've though. ever you know, done we're, this. We've we, we been like trying shit, you know. Yeah, we're, we're just, just trying we're something. Try, try a little song, <laughs> song. Um, we we're doing a hip hop draft. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're doing a hip hop draft here on the Need to Know podcast. Uh, we will give you out the rules. We will break down the criteria of this draft. Yeah, I'm super excited. I've stood up all night as if this was my <laughs> NFL fantasy football no, draft. No, I literally came into today feeling like I was getting drafted. Uh, like, I was so excited. Draft day. I, I, I'm really preparing to create the best roster against right. my fellow co-hosts, which is why I'm I'm waving waving my sigil of the Slater flag. Yeah. Fuck your flag, I'm nigga. pretty confident in my draft. I, like, I feel like you guys have no idea what I'm going to do today. Like, I really feel like it. <laughs> now, that could be good or bad. Mm, that is true. That yeah. is true. Yeah. It depends on people oh, receive this it. This is fucking again, killing me. Again. I just want to start. It. I know, but we yeah. have some housekeeping, housekeeping to do. Yeah, let's do that. Let's Most do that. importantly, we're doing the 2010s on, y'all. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you don't hear Tupac or Biggie, oh, that is why. That or is even why. a Jay Z, mm-hmm. right? Or 50 yeah. Cent, right? For because kids. one rule that I said we should clarify is, you know, things to get a little blurry, especially if people have been popping for like the last two decades. Um, your main project should have dropped uh, after 2010. That's like the rule following, and also. We should, um, we were going to draft the women anyways, mm-hmm. but Savon came up with the rule that we should include also one woman on our team. So yeah, those are least. two little rules to Ladies, keep in mind. At least. Ladies. So it's going to be a six round draft. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The three of us will draft our teams. It will be a snake order draft, meaning whoever goes first in the first round will go last in the second round and the following mm-hmm. round. Um, and like Reggie said, the criteria is. Some of your more uh, impactful, your most impactful bodies of work had to have happened after 2010. Mm-hmm. And we are highlighting the ladies. We were all going to put women on our list regardless, but sure. just to apply a little bit more pressure in case somebody wanted to be, you know, non-inclusive. <laughs> uh, I wanted to let I, I wanted to let somebody if you guys didn't want to draft women, I was gonna let you guys do that because that is a mistake. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. For they sure. Rapping. I wanted for to sure. just let you do that. But... Just and we're trying to build the best team possible. So you need mm-hmm. ladies to do that, in my opinion. So uh with that being said, before we get into this draft, please make sure y'all head over to our description. The need to know podcast mixer is happening Cute. August 17th. Come kick it with us. Oh Open bar, rooftop party in Brooklyn. You know the vibe. A beautiful yeah. crowd. You guys get to meet us. You guys get to meet like a bunch of like-minded people, beautiful yeah. women. What more could you possibly want? Come I don't on. even know. We had a really good time last year. You mm-hmm. do not want to miss this shit. I promise you that. That's going to be like two times bigger this year. Hello. So get your tickets, They guys. outside. I'm telling you. And the tickets are moving fast. They are. They are. Are moving we not just saying fast. that? Say, you know how people just be saying, hey, they move. No, they actually are. Yeah. Yeah, things no, actually, though. <laughs> some things are moving. Some things At an exponential moving. rate. Also, but if you Dude. want a little, you know, I don't know if I should tell them. I'm just doing it anyway. I didn't get the okay. But if you want a little discount code, you have to be subscribed to our Patreon, though. Hello. That's where you're going to get it. You message us like, hey, guys, I actually listen. And we're actually going to drop on Patreon. We have like 10 episodes filmed. We're not going to leave you guys. It's going to be amazing content about like just life, more evergreen chill shit. So just another reason to sign up for the Patreon. Please do not forget to do that. That is patreon.com forward slash need to know pod. All right. Y'all go do that. Yes, let's do it. Okay. Now get, get all that shit out of the way. Okay, get let's all go. Let's bullshit go. out the way. I don't know. Oh, actually, Pierre's with us. Pierre's yes, oh, yeah, okay. our referee. Yeah, oh, yeah. yes. Pierre. No, no, no. What is it? The moderator? He's moderator. A, yes. No, he's no, a no. What's, the, what's the shit in the draft night? Adam, oh, what does he do? He's the commissioner. The commissioner. The commissioner. Nah, what does that mean? I'm that nigga. <laughs> he's commissioner. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but what, what does the commissioner mean? He's just a puppet. No, they don't. He's just a nigga. Don't say that. They don't do shit. Isn't Adam a legend? They manage the teams. They manage the teams of the league. 
and yeah. you know, all the things that come with it. Yeah, they try. They say they try to. Yeah. So they say. But Pierre's with us. He's gonna be helping us navigate this draft. Yo. The caveat with this thing is. Uh, we don't have a draft order, mm-hmm. so we couldn't prepare. In my mind, yeah. I know my team. What? I know my team. But I picked with the intentions of being the first pick Same-sies. and not really knowing what they're going to do and where they're going to go. That's so, why y'all should be scared. This first two rounds <laughs> gets real, real yeah. tricky, real, real sticky. You think so? And we don't. Yeah, I, I truly do believe so. I, really? I'm more afraid of Reggie. Picking Why? where I'm picking next to Reggie because in these drafts, oh, it's late. They're not scared of me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Because <laughs> I, 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 what's that say about me? What do you? What do you mean? I think you're phenomenal at what you oh, do. They they not minds think like, so Dude. that was a compliment to yourself. To <laughs> us. <laughs> To us. I think oh, I'm lit. literally so ner- I just have to get this out before we start. Like I'm literally so nervous right now because I have one person that I want so fucking oh, bad. We know. we know. Oh yeah, we no, know. No, 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 no. no. It's not. No, we know. No, no, no. no. It's not. No, yeah, no, you guys don't. Yeah, it's say, not. Say, it's say, not, say it's say not, who you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, say, yeah. It's not the obvious person. It's, it's not, not. It's not my favorite. Rapper. It's not. not you're not trying to throw me off. Yo, yo, yo. We don't know the draft order yet. And guys, I'm just my heart is beating so fast because I want this guy so bad. And okay, I'm gonna shut him now. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're great. You're great. So, uh, Pierre has a number, I think it's 1 through 20, right, Pierre? 1 through 20, yep. I one got it right 20. in my head. No, of, no, 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 we have to write it down. You gotta write it down? We can't you, be cheating. Yes, you have to write it yes. down All back right. there. Because you love Savon, you're gonna pick it, you're gonna, like, make sure he goes first. As he should. <laughs> nah, no, y'all, that's why y'all we have to write it down. People. What the oh, fuck? Y'all, oh, my people. y'all need to pick first to get a good team? <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> I don't even care for what, what if we steal each other? Okay, wait, okay. <laughs> We're already getting hey, y'all can it. give me the la- hey, y'all niggas can pick four times and I'll still go. All right, so boom. Oh, this, all right, so this happened. I can't wait to see this bum ass. Since Alex, Alex said, I can't wait. I can't wait. He's gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, love you, I love you, Cassie. They hate on the new artist, y'all. No, 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 no. <laughs> they hate on the new artist, y'all. Yeah. No, I didn't mean that as shade. I, I don't believe that name because it was a shade. But yeah. yes, I know what you mean. Oh, right? yeah. I know exactly what you mean. Oh, I'm, I'm um, so but that's excited. gonna be like they not scared of this boy. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I am scared of you. I'm scared of me. That was Savon. That was that wasn't me. I'm scared of you. Nah, Savon said Savon said you was ass. I'm, I'm not, not going. I didn't hear that afraid. as well, Pierre. I can't wait for this. Pierre, do you oh have a number God. one through twenty so we can get this? Yeah, we're just itching to get this. Been had it. I, I okay. honestly, you go first? I think no. I think Alex and I we are in alignment with this when we say ladies. Ladies go first. first, okay, for sure. Oh, wait, so, Kieran is a witness, right? He, you're not changing first. the number. Yeah. Okay, no. I'm gonna go 15. Okay. Don't reveal to the end. Okay. You could go, my brother. I don't, I don't need it like that. Oh, you said ladies first, for yeah, real. So yeah. I'm just, <laughs> I don't need it like that. <laughs> I'm gonna go six. Alex. All right. So Reggie went 15. You went six. Yes. All right. I got two. You went two. Yeah. Oh, this is a. Okay, oh this God. is a range. I literally so this my is a heart, range. My heart is beating so fast. Right <laughs> so now. the way that we're gonna determine <laughs> the first three picks or mm-hmm. the the pick order is whoever is the closest will go first. Yeah. Second closest, third closest. That's how we're doing it. We're not gonna give any more numbers. Mm-hmm. We're just gonna see who got the closest. All right. Oh wait, what? No, isn't it closest and then second closest? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So oh my God. I just need to get through the first round. And I could just relax. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> so the number was five. So the order now is Saquon. Uh, Saquon. <laughs> Saquon. This football. I'm thinking Saquon football. Slater, motherfucker. You there? Saquon Slater. Oh, yeah. Let's go, boy. Uh, yeah, so but Sav- it's snake order, so. Savon, Alex, Reggie. Savon, Alex, Reggie. See, I did. Wow, we even, I didn't know. We really said ladies first, and you ended up going last. <laughs> <laughs> That's Shout crazy. out to feminism. And this, was, <laughs> and this show was my idea, and I'm going last. Wait, okay. Shout out to feminism. Oh, it's lit. <laughs> you guys aren't going to pick my this first guy. This is fucking lit. Are y'all ready? <laughs> Right, let's do a little some stretches. In the 2024 Hip Hop Draft, the Need to Know Podcast. Podcast, podcast, podcast. The first pick is on the clock. I don't know where I'm going with this one. I'm yes, lying. You do. I do. Yes, you do. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. And y'all know where I'm going too. Nah, we don't. Because in this thing, it's all about winning in life. I like to align myself with winners. Wait, hold on. Here on this podcast, Hurry up, I'm collectively, I'm gonna have a panic attack. I believe we I'm are gonna winners. Have a panic hold on, wait. How long do we have to pick? Five minutes. Just, just, put just know I got my pick. The pick is in. I'm just buying time for y'all to think about what y'all about to do. Nah, I don't need it. No, I already know. I already Reggie, know. The beautiful thing about you <laughs> and your pick is you do get a back to back. I know the snake. Yeah, that's you do get a back to back. I actually know what that means. So I I'm wasn't. Proud of myself. I, I wasn't too upset if I would have got the third pick, but yeah. <laughs> the way that God has it, you know, real niggas go first. So with that being said, first pick, 
I got. I, I have to watch this, y'all. Watch this, y'all. <laughs> predictable. I, I, I yeah, no choice. If you ever watch any review we've ever done on the rap battle, it's easy. watch this. Easy, easy. easy. Watch this. You know, I don't mind if he picks him. I no, mean, okay, let's just. He okay, needs him. Oh, <laughs> you need him. I go front school. Yeah, because you were on the down before. You know, with the first pick in the twenty twenty four hip hop two thousand and tens draft it's class. I know this brother has been through a lot of scrutiny over the last few months. I know a lot of people may have forgot, but I trying to build a successful team, a relatable team, a marketable team, a team right, that right. gives all the vibes and the tunes from. Yeah, yeah. It's only right that <laughs> Drake. Wonder... Oh, sorry, sorry. I just talked over your thing. It's okay. Drake. First first pick off the board for me. Okay. okay. Team Slater. Oh, my God. I could not predict that. Team Slater. Guess. God damn it. We're going right? Drake. Oh, let's, oh, let's go. Fine, God damn it. It's fine. We got Justin wow. Drake like, off the board. Wow, wow. We can hate, but honestly, that is the big dog. Like, yeah, that is sure. who, if you went first, that's mm-hmm. who you should have picked. You know what? Let's not act like no, you know, no, no. that's Drake's a bad pick. Yeah, okay. Drake's catalog is extensive. In the 2010s. Absolutely. Good job. Good job. Good job. We see what you did there. We see what you did there. But that was like picking like Zion Williams. That was tough. That was a hard pick. Not like us had niggas on the ropes. Ah, not like us had people forgetting. You know yeah, what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. if I'm 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 gonna keep my draft strategy. I'm gonna go with Drake on my on my first. Okay. Didn't Zion not live up to his expectations though? But he went number one. Okay. That is true. Ooh. And it was very obvious that we doing poetry tonight. Okay. So with that being said, <laughs> you sure uh, that's it? That's it. First round. Oh yeah, you Drake out the gate. Cash that. Bring that to the bank, baby. Okay. 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 Um, Drake. Go- All right. Okay. All right. You know what's funny about this? <laughs> I feel like we're all... This is why I said the first round is not going to be as interesting. Alex, you're still on the clock. Just to let you know. I already know who I'm picking. All right, baby. Y'all can who I'm picking, too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know what he picking. And when he picks, I know who you picking. Yeah. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. That's okay, what I'm saying. Okay, no. right. You guys round, have no idea who I'm picking. I'm I okay. promise you. Yo, Pierre, how much time I got? I want to walk got, into the you final got, seconds. You got four minutes. That's oh, a I got time. time. That's a long time. Oh, I got time. So now I can speak about... About why these rounds are easy to me, at least. You know, right, I know y'all it. taking these real serious. See, that first couple are rounds. You not taking it serious? Yeah, I am. But there's so much talent. Why are you shading us? Taking it seriously? Because y'all say y'all not scared of me. Oh my god, look, we're already bickering. There's so much <laughs> talent in the pool. You know, and me, you know, oh, I love like, so I'm, many. I'll be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, I love so many different types of styles of rap. Okay. You know what I so mean? That, telling us basic. Okay. That you know, no, there we go. <laughs> I'm just saying, in the latter rounds, it's mm-hmm. gonna get a little tricky. Okay. Right, because you know, it's easy to pick a Drake. It does. It's easy to pick a so and so. It's easy to pick I, a so and so. I mean, a so and so's on the board. Yeah, so and so's is dead. Oh on my the god, cloud. I'm literally having I'm an like, anxiety uh, attack right now. What? Because <laughs> they not like us. <laughs> okay. You guys are so basic. <laughs> you guys are so basic. And the second round, <laughs> for uh, the second pick, and the first annual you need to know uh, uh, 2010's rappers in updraft. Team Alexander is selecting Kendrick Lamar out of Compton. Uh, I mean, it's without saying, of course, Kendrick Lamar has had a beautiful career. He's been mentioned as one of the top three in rap throughout the 2010s, etc. His contemporaries being Drake, J. Cole. Uh, just coming off of a win. <laughs> coming off a big win. Big win. Big you, know, you, you know, it's funny. Drake, you know, he said he like winners. They both say he like winners, but I actually took the winner <laughs> that last battle. You know, so we're going to bring uh, Kendrick Lamar right on home. You know, right okay. to uh, Team Alexander. All right. You know, um, much to do. You know, no surprise there, huh? Uh, no surprise. No surprise. No okay. surprise. Oh, yeah, you got a minute left. I don't think. I got a minute nah, left. it's, it's good. Well, no, he's he's good. Yeah, he got his pick. Okay, okay. He got his pick I in. I, I know okay. this next pick is very important. Again, now we did um, debunk feminism by making Reggie go last, <laughs> but she feminism gets, ain't real, folks. She, <laughs> oh, sure. she gets two picks in this Stupid. round, mm-hmm. so you've had some time to kind of see, and you really set the tone, honestly, yeah. because our picks they were basic. It, it was really only one way or the other that you could go. And honestly, First round I'm not basic. that mad because you guys didn't pick the person that I was gonna pick. All right, cool. And I'm not. I, and maybe you pick who I thought that I was gonna be forced to pick, but we shall see. Again, you get two picks. Mm-hmm. You can announce your first pick, let us know why, and then go into your second pick, and then we throw it right back over to Alex. Okay, I just want to keep the momentum going. After I say this person, you guys can't be like because we stated the three two rules that we had. The only caveats. That's the only caveats. Yes. Yep. After I pick this person. Okay. <clears throat> so I walked in here. Now I get my five minutes. Let's go. So I walked in here and this was literally the only person that I needed on my team because he is really just going to be our North Star and he will really just lead us <laughs> to everything just in life, not even just in music. 
for wait, what is it? I want to say this right. The first round pick, Reggie Selects. How do I say this? You said it. Reggie Selects. Reggie Selects. You did For the first round pick, uh, in the 2024 mid year need to know hip hop draft, Regina Cho selects Nipsey Hussle from Crenshaw. Okay. So, so <laughs> yeah. Damn it! Damn it! She's on the ball. That's tight. Board. Now I'm dead ass um, upset. I want to fight. Wow. I know. I know. I know. Wow. I had a feeling you was going to do that, though. My heart is beating so fast because I just wanted him so bad because, like, wow. it's not even... Well, musically, let's talk about Damn musically. It, everything he raps about, everything he stands for, yeah. literally just taking your time, knowing your purpose, yes. just staying the course for the past... He's been, made, like, two decades straight. He just really just stood on everything. He did everything he said he would. Wow. And, you know, although he has passed away, I feel like his impact is still around. So I didn't want, that's why I said that in the beginning was like, I don't want anyone to be like, oh, but you know, he's no longer with us. You can't pick him. Well, I can. So wow. he's been very consistent with his projects. Crenshaw was in the 2010s. So yeah, was, you know, Slauson Boy and the obviously victory the Victory Lap in 2018. Mm -hmm. um, he has the Haymakers. He has the West Coast, but he also has the rest of the world with him as well. So mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> I just... I was sitting here so quiet before in pre-production pre because what a sleep. What a sleep I just needed him. And I'm also, a sleeper. I was going to take him. I'm with, tight. with Nipsey, you get oh. Dom Kennedy, you get Larry June, you get everybody like clip. in the West Coast to like, I don't know. Okay. I, I like that pick. I like I do like, I'm no, sick this of first, that pick. This first round is a little... Hold on. Y'all taking trades? <laughs> you, oh. you can't trade your oh. first pick. Yes, you can. Only <laughs> three niggas been... <laughs> Yes, uh, I, you, when I pick some more niggas, we gonna talk. We gonna talk. <laughs> you gonna do a two for one? You gonna do a two? <laughs> hmm? I already. Uh, yeah, you, you, you sneaky, bro. You sneaky. All right, cool. First round out the way. Mm -hmm. We got Drake. We got Kendrick Lamar. We yeah. got Nipsey Hussle. And the pick goes right back to Regina. Right? Mm -hmm. Pick goes right back to Reggie. And the marathon continues with. We know. Say it. Okay, you know what? We know. Uh -huh. now, I hate when you guys do this. No, no, no. That was fine. That was fine. If you don't do it. <laughs> Another man okay, will. Like, I hate when anything related to this man, everyone's like, Psh, we knew Regina. Blah, 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 blah. Like, but, okay, no, but can you blame me? It kind of worked out for you, though. You was able to take Nipsey one, and then the pick come <sighs> right back to you so you could take your guy. I'm just so happy I got that reaction out of Alex. Yeah, I'm tight. He was like, fuck. No, I'm gonna <laughs> say, yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace, Nipsey. Thank you so much. I just thank you for everything. Uh, now I could just breathe a little easier because I only wanted Nipsey. That's it. Yeah. Um, For my... Is it second round pick? Yep. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. For the second round pick, Reggie selects Jermaine Cole. <laughs> Born in Germany, moved to North Carolina, and started his rap dreams. Um, I just feel like, you know, we don't need some long-winded explanation. If you guys are listening to the pod, he's my mm -hmm. favorite rapper ever. Right. Um, starting from the mixtapes, the warm-up, the come-up, Friday Night Lights, all that, and then he dropped studio albums that achieve success. He has the numbers. He has the unshakable fan base. He could sell out and a the, freaking whole festival for four years in a row. Like, and, the, and the scouting report is set on him that he let Nas down. Um, Where do you okay. stand on that? Nas, for, Nas forgave him. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, I, I do want to ask. <laughs> yes. Because you having that back-to-back, -back, there was a reason that you went with Nipsey first. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Did his antics or him deciding to remove himself from that beef alter his positioning where you drafted him personally? Oh, I love these questions. Yes. I appreciate these questions. Okay, Come on, sports now. report. Okay, Stephen A. Smith. So, <laughs> um, honestly, personally, everyone knows J. Cole is my favorite rapper of all time. But, like, this is not a personal draft. It's, like, I'm thinking strategically. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I will say I would have been okay if one of you guys took J. Cole. I, that wasn't my main, she like, lying, person. Yeah. No, if it was my main person, I would have picked him first. Okay, you know but what? I didn't. Yeah, my main, that my main Nick. person you was Nipsey Hussle. Nick. Like that's why I came Damn. in here wanting. Mm -hmm. I just feel like he, like I can't lose if I have Nipsey on my team. So I would have been fine if you guys picked J Cole. But now mm -hmm. that I have mm -hmm. the snake order, and I went back to that. Okay. So I have J Cole. He has a commercial success. He has, and honestly, when in, 20, dream. in 2010s, right. yes, like when we were coming up, the whole college student being mm -hmm. able to relate to, he had that crowd. Um, even like the sleeper mix the truly yours is the um any given Sundays. My real J Cole fans know he has always fed his fans. I don't <laughs> care. The in twenty twenty four was not his greatest year, but I don't care. So, but musically it was a really good year because a lot of people yes, loved that project. My, my delete later, later that was, that was a really good it year. It was genuinely it was amazing. The optics, though. The yeah. optics. So yeah. I get that your first pick in the second round. So J Cole, I like that. I'm not mad at that. Wow, yeah, this I like is that. going amazing. Amazing. Cole, I like I got, it. I, I like got it everything. I wanted. This is holy shit. I like it out there. Oh, the but then it goes to him. It goes oh, to Alex. Shit. Alex is on the board. Kendrick Lamar was your first pick. Let's see where he's going with the second one. Don't do it.
I'm gonna do it, oh, he's and he's gonna, gonna be so it. upset. To... I, I am gonna do it. I, I am gonna do it. Let me see. You know, here on Team A, we love longevity. Yes, there you go. We love talent. We love fan groups. We love people who can stand the test of time, mm-hmm. and we like genre defiers. This next person I'm selecting, they tried to say this young lady oh. <laughs> didn't have any competition in the 2010s. So when the 2010s popped up, 2020s popped up, and she had some competition, she showed everyone that I can still contend. Okay. And we like versatility here on uh, Team A. <laughs> he didn't say need to know. He said yeah, Team A. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't need to know that. Rep your Team A. Yeah. So for the second pick uh, for Team A in the 2024 Need to Know 2010s and Up Rappers draft, we're going with Nicki Minaj. Wow. Okay. 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 All right. All right. We're going snap, it up. Snap, we're going with Nicki Minaj. That's a strong support base. Okay. So, okay. so now oh, we have the barbs. We have the barbs. Oh, we have we have L. A. <laughs> mm-hmm. And we have longevity and talent. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. you know, uh, we, 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 I mean, it goes without saying, mm-hmm. Nicki Minaj is still relevant, mm-hmm. current. And she still sells. She does. Right? She, does. She, broke, of, she broke mad records this year. Exactly. A lot of people from her era have difficulty maybe eclipsing some numbers. For sure. She doesn't. <clears throat> and she shows up. Mm-hmm. And she has the hob that we need here at our set. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, you know, we just, we, we like the combination of a Kendrick Lamar. And then they couldn't let that fall, yeah. you know, to a Drake <laughs> Nicki Minaj type of situation and mm-hmm. Team Saint Vaughn. Yeah. Because then yeah. that would re spark something that they already had in the past. For sure. That's a smart pick. That's Come on. A lot, yeah. a lot of hits. A lot of hits. Absolutely. Interesting I dynamic. Okay. I Absolutely. see what you did there. Absolutely. You, you picked on offense and defense. Absolutely. That was an offensive and a defensive move. Front I see court what and you the backcourt. Yeah. I see what you did right Absolutely. there. I'm not mad. You went East Coast. You yep. went West Coast. We did. You went the King. I, I did that. Yes. King, I Queen. How, I love it. I, I love how it. He has Drake on his team, but this is still like everyone's still in the game. Oh, like, we still in it. Yeah, oh, we still in it. We're in the thick of it. Those first off, yeah. y'all picks are amazing. Yeah, by the way. thank you. Appreciate Stop it. Stop buttering me up. No, I'm not. Yours we're too, we're no, no, in competition thank you, right thank now. You. <laughs> y'all picks are oh, yeah, amazing. You are today. Fuck out of here. He's trying, I know, he's trying, I'm, I'm, he's trying but, to lure you. Don't fall for it. With, with that right. being said, you know, first now I go last, yeah. but it goes back around where I go first again. Don't it? And so with that being said, I, it, the order really doesn't matter. And Alex said a few things that really stuck out to me. One of yeah, those yeah. things being longevity. Yeah. One of those things being influential. Yeah. One of those things even being genre defining. Absolutely. Things that here on Team Slater, Team Savon, however you want to, with an essay, VO, however you want to get, get in your bag <laughs> with me, right? There are certain uh, uh, criterias and things that I wanted to make sure that we had on our team. Right. Chemistry is very important. Team chemistry. Absolutely. And we all know adversity is a thing. You're not always going to see eye to eye with the people that you make hits with. You know what I'm saying? You're not always going to see eye to eye. <laughs> but one thing is for certain. We know how to make hits together. And so when these two gentlemen link up, so it's something. I think it's very powerful. Um, and I think we can go to any genre with these guys. I know where he's going. And so with this, <laughs> I do want to salute to Atlanta and the building. Oh, no. Team Slater will be drafting oh, fuck. Future oh, shit. with his second pick in the second fuck! round of the 2024 <laughs> hip hop draft. First two picks I'm on the sick. board. I got Drake. I got Future. Y'all know what they do. Now, I'm fucking God sick. damn it, I'm no, on no, fire. No, I'm it, fucking it's sick. Also, it also doesn't matter that they hate each other now because in the no, 2010s, no, no, no. they dominated. They, so. Domination. Yeah, they yeah. We know what they do. We did. don't care what happens and, afterwards. And, 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 let me, let me, and let me do Future his justice because I don't want to just associate him with Drake. Yes, they right. did what they did, right. but let's not forget about the mixtape run. Let's not forget about the hits he's wrote mm-hmm. for somebody like <laughs> Beyonce. Like, 50, 56 Nights. Let, know, let's not, like, let's give him crazy. his proper credit. Future is who he is. Yeah. I thought, I didn't think I was going to be able to get this pick. I, I, I knew for certain one of y'all was going to take Future really early on. The Nicki Minaj pick was definitely on my radar, Alex. I, I know promise you. I know. So was Future. like, yeah, it, it so was we, either way. We had this pick one. So. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> I'm, I'm going with Future. I'm going with Drake. I'm going with Future. And then for my third pick, so now we're going third round. Again, anybody who's just joining in, there's no reason y'all should just be joining in. It's a I podcast. Know, I know. <laughs> if y'all motherfuckers is just joining in, uh, we're in the third round yeah. of the 2024-2010s hip-hop draft uh, amongst ourselves. So I get a back-to-back pick. Now, that's crazy. Much like I, I know that's how I felt when you did your shit. That shit, you're like, yeah, she gotta go that again. That shit hurt to see a nigga go twice, right? <laughs> but it feel good Dang. when you're on the side. Uh-huh. Now, with that being said, um, we did mention that 
you know, we 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 have to show love to the ladies. Alex, he did that. First off the board, Nicki Minaj, second round. Salute to you. Big Queens, big New York and the energy. Yep. Um, but much like in Game of Thrones, Cersei and Daenerys, they had to see each other at some point. Nyla, like, stop with these. No, somebody I, I, gets I it. I feel so left out. You may not get it, but when I let you know who my next I can't wait till we can is, be nice to each other again. No, because... yeah, fuck all that. Fuck all that. I'm feeling isolated, but okay. My next pick... Uh, big Bronx energy. Mm. Oh, okay. Big BBL energy. <laughs> big BBL energy. Big BBL energy. A lot of BBLs on your I'm team. Going, I'm going with Carl. Oh! A lot of BBLs on your team. We got to clip that. The BBLs make a move, baby. I'm going with Cardi B as my third pick. Okay, okay. okay I respect third it. Third pick. Okay. First pick in the third round, I'm going with Cardi B. Okay. So right now, I stand with Drake, Future, Cardi B. I needed the New York influence. Ooh. Okay. I needed the Bronx. I needed the strong, powerful woman. I needed the personality. I needed the marketability. I needed the anthems. I needed the clubs. I needed mm. the hoes. I needed it all. <laughs> God damn it. And you need the, you know, the social media presence, the personality. All of that. Yeah. All right? I'm trying to sell tickets on this team. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to move units on this team. Right. I want the kids, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want everybody to have a little bit of everything. I needed Atlanta. I need yeah. the North, all that. Like, so with that being said, my first three picks, I have Drake, Future, and Cardi B. You have March Madness and Bodak Yellow under your umbrella, Ooh, which is insane. Mm. 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 But it's fine because I already, and yeah, you know. You done? You I got a little I'm done. I'm done. We go on to the next pick. I just sure? want to let that off. Okay. Who's it, the next pick? It, it gets tricky. Like it's you. It's you. Okay. And, you know? and, uh, oh, bro. <laughs> we walked right into it. Don't touch me. <laughs> won't he do it? <laughs> I won't go right into it. Nah, I will say I, feel, I have a feeling Alex is going to pick exact. I'm not even joking right now for the cameras. Like, I know he's going to pick exactly who I'm going to pick. I'm literally going to write it sure? down because I know he's going to pick it. I will say we will leak this information from the camp. All right. We're currently on the clock, but there are two names in the air. And executives over on my side are having difficulty coming to a final decision. But by the time I'm done ironing out these thoughts on this mic, he. <laughs> He buying himself time. <laughs> Shut up, man. <nigga. laughs> <I love it. laughs> like, he don't up. know where he want to go. No, I got two <laughs> places. Let's All right. track. Let's you track. Got two you go wake the beast. But you go to wake the I'm beast. I'm gonna wake the demon up. You be- better mute up for a second. Now, I love how you went with future because that hurt my heart. Future for the streets. I love future, nigga. <laughs> Okay. I know. Wait, I, no, you don't. No, this is I'm, my anxiety doing this now, draft. I'm not I do want to. Remi- I do want to remind the people He's out there. Take my person. I'm not because now it's three people I got on the board while I'm wasting time. I, <laughs> I want to remind the listeners He's about to take my person. that this is based on the 2010s on. Yes. Right, and the 2010s were very impactful to where hip hop is now. Right. So future is definitely a person from that class that impacted the 2010s. This next pick is going to make us shed a tear a little bit. <laughs> Remember on Team A, we said we like catalogs. We do. We like longevity. For sure. Right? We like talent. So we would be remiss if we didn't select Kanye West crazy ass. Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Number. We're going to... <laughs> wow, we're gonna yeah. check. We're gonna check the rules a little bit. Yeah, yeah go ahead, check them. No, you, Reg, you got. He got that off. Check it. it he is, got that off. It checks, it off? checks out. Okay, okay, okay. Check it. He, he got my twisted beautiful dog. Whatever the fuck. He checked. My, oh, my beautiful dog twisted fantasy. Okay, yeah, it guys. checks out. Hold up, hold up, yo. Hold we, up. we need a referee because okay. college dropout was in two thousand four. That's just one of his slides. No, 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 but that was that's just one of his slides. And and watch the throw. You trying to veto okay, my shit? Late registration, graduation, 808s, and heartbreaks. That's four albums in the 2000s. If that were the case, I could have picked fucking 50 Cent. Oh. No, you couldn't have. Because 50 ain't doing anything impactful in the 2010s. I was about to say. Or 2020s. Kanye West is still putting out music. Er, That's that's true. The Life of Pablo. That's true. Jesus. Er. (laughs) <laughs> okay. So this is so subjective because we said the main project has to drop in the 2010s. Hey. This is like such a gray area, hey, but it's a gray area. It's tough. So you want me to pick two people? I'm a, no, I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to give it to you. Yeah, you no, you sure? because yeah. I think Kanye has done enough in the 2010s you're right, you're to right. earn that. Thank you. Okay. I, I, I think he has as well. Okay, I think he has as well. To Reggie's point though, he has a lot of legendary works in the 2010s, mm-hmm. bef- before the 2010s, excuse me. So I understand where she's coming from. Unfortunately, Reggie, he's still putting out shit. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I, un- unfortunately, they, they love Donda. They love the life of Pablo. 
So again, you know, we just want to round out our team wow. with, you know, just notable successes. So we're going to round it out with Kendrick Lamar, Nicki Minaj, Kanye West out the gate. Team A has concluded. Ooh, we. Team A has concluded the steps away. That's 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 a three. Mind you, this is based on music, that folks. That is a three. Not antics. <laughs> yeah, I had to pick his little manic ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> pick his little manic ass. You know he's crazy. Oh, come on. We like crazy here, though. Reggie. You know what? I was contesting that just for giggles and shits and shits and giggles because I don't want him anyway. I thought you were going to pick this person, <laughs> especially because he went with Future, and I thought that inspired your next pick. It was, and I pivoted. Say it. I know. Okay. We know. <laughs> I, I feel like okay. Just do it. Say uh, it. My team chemistry. This will work because I have Nipsey Hussle, the great. Yes. J Cole for sure. Mm. My third person. Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Say it. Let's do it. Say it because I, I, I got him on my going list too. And it's a camera on me. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> She's gonna say it. Did a lot of shit just to live this here <laughs> life. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. going okay. with y'all. Okay. 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 Although he's not with us today, he's still alive. But you know, he is he's locked away. He's away from us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like yes. the like the team chemistry will be good because mm -hmm. you know he already has a hit with J Cole, London. Oh, for maybe, which maybe, was maybe at the London. London. Uh, <laughs> London, London, London. <laughs> and now I have Atlanta on my side. Okay, yeah, we have the South with J Cole. Yep, yep. We have the West with Nipsey. Okay, you know I'm hitting all my regions. I'm liking it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm liking really it. happy with my team so far. I'm liking it. I'm liking Shout it. Shout to Thugger. Like we have Atlanta now. He's oh. the king. So okay, so y'all both went to Atlanta. Sure, had to. Had I haven't to. dipped my toes in that water yet, but I might. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm happy because out of <laughs> out of Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Young Thug is who I wanted, so I'm happy I got him. So whoever you pick from Atlanta, it's fine. Got it. No <laughs> worries. I was, I'm just curious about who's next. Oh. You get another pick, girl. It's Reggie, back to back. Reggie, you what? get another pick. Hey, great, like great power comes great Just responsibility. responsibility. <gasps> Don't Wait, forget, the so clock like, is on. The clock is I'm on. Really, from I feel it. like I'm picking too much. Don't oh run God. from <laughs> it. Don't run okay. from it. Run from it. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Um, so now. And be careful. Be careful where you want to go. Um, I think. I know, why, why, I know why, where I'm going to go. If, 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 no, no, no. Know, Wait, think, do you want to say? You can say no. No, I was just going to say, I think we should do a round three check in. A round ourselves. three check in? Oh, what? Yeah. We, How are we, 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 are we're we halfway feeling? through the draft. Okay. Yeah, I know yeah. it went You're by right. a little bit like, right. rather fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Were we but, speeding through this or was it good? Like, no, it felt good, very good like, pacing. It felt very exhilarating. I was like, racing. I think it's the anxiousness. But yeah. Yeah, let's anxiety. let's do a quick check in with each other. How are we feeling about our opponents' teams? How are we feeling about our teams? Okay. Personally, I like my team. Okay. Oh, personally, I like. My, honestly, <laughs> you, guys, you guys actually didn't take the people that I really, 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 really wanted. That's like, good. I know Drake is a strong like contender, but honestly, I could do it without him. Like, you know. Okay. Where where if y'all had the first pick, yeah, would Drake have been on y'all team? If I had the first, I would have pick? picked Nipsey. I swear, I swear on everything, I would have picked. Okay. Nipsey. All right. I don't know. I would have been split between Drake and Kendrick. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. I would have been split. I'm going to be honest with you. I, and I'm going to give y'all, yeah. I had a feeling if I didn't get the first pick, Drake wouldn't be on the board. Yeah. My first pick would have been Future. Mm, I'm not what? mad at that. I would have went Future first. Wait, you want to you have pick Drake first? Wait, you- I'm not mad no, at that. No, I said if Drake wasn't available. Yeah. Oh, I said okay. if Drake wasn't available, my first pick would have been Future. Future has dominated since yeah. Yeah, yeah, early 2010s. Oh, wait, you got Future. And I, would, and I, got, yes. I ended up getting oh, Future. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's working. The draft okay. strategy, we kind of sticking know, to it. This is going a little too smooth. Everyone's getting what they want. <laughs> <I don't, laughs> no, I'm not. not, not I'm trust, you, no. you took Nipsey. Yeah. Okay. He took Future. He took Nikki. I'm hot. Well, you, <laughs> he, I know he would have wanted Nikki. He took Nikki. Yeah. Yeah. He took Nikki. Hi. Hills, off my TV. Don't say and go by not at Sherry. You Sherry. Balls, what up? Let's go. Don't get it. There, there is some yeah, some yeah, overlapping yeah. that's happening, some Absolutely. cross contamination that's happening. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. The first three team, first three rounds. Yeah, yeah. I will say, I think is it's strong. I think it's strong. I think I'm, all our teams are strong. I think they're strong. I'm content with my team. I think we get a little better. 
I think so too. I think these next three rounds are gonna be like oh, defying, very revealing. This is where I'm gonna fight with myself because yes, this, is, this is where we can't. Now that we have our strong core, yes. this is where we could put our personal favorites. But I know I shouldn't. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, but mm-hmm. for it's my round. Wait, what is it? Round? Yes, four? this is round four. Yes. This is the first okay. pick of round four. Reggie is on the clock for the first pick of round four. Don't do me like that. Team Reggie selects. Should I do a little cute little intro or should I just say it? Um, See, I'm getting anxiety saying it. You're usually good at intros. You're not going to be Build the momentum. Okay, so say it. I'm going to go with my girl, Tina Snow, Megan The Stallion. Okay. 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 Right. okay. 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 Because, right. because, because, because not only is she uh, beautiful, gorgeous, a stallion, everything and more, she she's marketable. She has so many fucking interests in the anime, which she's genuinely interested in. It's not just a gimmick. She has all these characters. She has her Tina Snow era. She can <clears throat> really, 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 really rap. Yes. If you look up her freestyles, just she doesn't have to do these, but she does her freestyles because she likes to exercise her actual rapping ability. Yes. Mm-hmm. And by the way, now we're in 2024. I could bring that in as well. She she sells out arenas. Like, what more can I ask for as a as a coach? She did sell, she did sell out MSG. And yeah, the girls love supporting her. We love supporting Megan. We yes. will put up the numbers for her. We will rally behind her. We will support anything that she does. Mm-hmm. I just think I just think she's a dream to have can, on my team. Can we buy the twerking rights off of her f- from you? Um, no, you cannot. <laughs> Damn. We copyrighted those. Thank you very much. Yeah, you got the best twerk, I think. Damn. Yes. And, I'm tight. <laughs> and she has um, the blessing of Beyonce. Beyonce loves her. She literally brought her out okay, for her B. tour. Okay. So, okay. I mean, I just feel like Megan is unstoppable. So, hmm. I'm very, very, very proud to have her on my team. Okay, hmm. well, I'm getting upset now. We starting to turn it up a little bit. There's yeah. some there's some players here that I thought were going to fall a little bit later. They're getting selected. Who's next, Savon? You're next. Oh, well. Why what? does he keep <laughs> going? Oh, because he be knowing. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> I'm so curious. You know, I'm it's still, funny. I'm still like so <laughs> caught off guard with the Kanye thing. I don't know why. I'm like so. And you about to be caught off guard right now. Okay. You know, it's funny. The three of us really did enjoy our time outside this past weekend. We did. We did, you know? Okay. You know, and um, it was a great time, great party. But see, here on Team A, the party never ends. For the fourth pick, (laughs) Team A is going with Travis Scott. Holy shit! (laughs) Are you fucking... (laughs) As I reiterate, these are the same folks that wasn't scared of me, (laughs) (laughs) y'all. Nah, they definitely had you as the underdog. They definitely had you as the underdog. Now, you know, Travis Scott is without saying great talent, dominated the 2010s, just like Future did. Mm. I'm I'm mad y'all let Travis fall, because I'm going to be honest with you. I wanted to take Travis when I took Ye. Because you took future, you motherfucker. But I say, you know what? Maybe he might creep down a little bit. Hey, Travis Scott, regardless of what you think, Mm -hmm. sells music. All right? His crazy ass wanted to perform in the pyramids. That didn't happen. But he's still good with Team A. All right? Like I said, we like catalog. We like longevity. And we like people who bring newer people to the table, right? Like, look at all my people. They bring people to the table. He does embrace the new. Right? He always embraces the new. Thank you for Don Tolliver. Thank you for Sheck West, etc. Thank you for Chase B, you know? And, you know, we don't even have to get into Travis Scott numbers, but you know what time it is. So the round of that week, what is it? <laughs> Kendrick Lamar, Nicki Minaj, Kanye West, and Travis Scott for my fourth pick. Oh, wow. We rest our case here at Team A. <sighs> the oh. party never ends. <laughs> Isn't that Juice World, by the way, not Travis? No, nah, that's, just, that's no. from Astro World. Yeah. That's no, right. yeah, but that part. Oh, fuck. <laughs> they could. I did the same thing. I'm speechless. What I'm, happened? I'm, Y'all I'm, good? I'm, I'm truly speechless. The leave it the room. I'm truly I'm speechless. Y'all good? <laughs> because. Honestly, I will be completely honest. I wasn't going to pick Travis, but him stacking up his team like that is really worrying me. But it's that, okay. that is a concern. Don't be worried. That we can a, get better. That is a concern for Wait, me. Wait, so you have. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick. Nicki Minaj, Kanye West, and uh, Travis, Travis Scott. Scott. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's stacked. That, that, that is... <laughs> You're doing something. I'm Let not going to lie. Don't pick me up right now. Don't pick me up. Pick your niggas. niggas. Let me get Rich Paul on the phone. Yeah, Cole. Cool. The dress is rigged. <laughs> Hold up. He was like, yeah, Cole. Cool. You're going to need him. <laughs> All right, but with that being said, I ain't, mm. I ain't never scared. I feel real good about my core. Again, mm. my big three right now. I got Could Drake. I got Drake. I got Future. Future. I got Cardi B. Ah. All right. I got I got those three. And I also get a back-to-back pick right now. I'm not mad at the Travis at all. <laughs> I love what you did yeah, there you with can Travis. Have him. You can have him. I, I, I think that's a, a sleeper pick. When you say catalog, and that's something that we are taking into consideration mm-hmm. with this. Absolutely. I think Travis Scott, in my opinion, he has a top five catalog yeah. over the last 10 to 15 years trap. for me. 
from, and from his Admiral Rex yeah. back group. And, and also yep. just the album. Yep. Oh, Days Before Rodeo. Days yeah, Before yeah. Rodeo. Absolutely. Like, so what I was saying. Producing, like, Astro he... World is my favorite project from Travis Scott, by the way. Really? My favorite. I, I know people really like Bees in the Trap. That's mine. I know. Burn Great songs track, on sure, it. For sure. The, the transitions on Astro World, the songs, that's what did it for me. That's why he got picked today. Yeah, I'm not World. mad at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to Houston, you got two super producers, you got hit makers, you got merch, you killing shit. You in McDonald's, you in Adidas. We got bundles. You are also a fucking. <laughs> Wait, what? Right. What the fuck? No, I'm not, nigga. Wait, what did you say? I ain't none of that. I ain't none of that. I, know. I said we got bundles. I ain't say none of that shit you just said, nigga. I don't know nothing about that shit. Yeah, denounce it. I am going I to sabotage it. these motherfuckers, huh? but no. You trying to injure my plays? All right, cool. Um, you trying to injure my plays? With this pick. So this is tough because both of y'all went in directions that I didn't expect. And, you know, I, I, I was, Travis was definitely on my radar. I know he was. But it's okay, because I feel like I could pivot. I feel like my next pick, I didn't want to have to pick him this high. I don't think y'all are going to pick him. You wanted to pick him last? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was gonna let him, I, don't I, I, intro I, it like that. Yeah, you got to pick just, him up. Nah, sometimes you just got to adjust. Gotta we adjust. didn't know who we was going to pick. I told you. We didn't know who we was going to pick. Honestly, my next pick is pretty risky as well. So just go with your risky pick. So for, for this reason, and again, this is not a slight to the field. This is not a slight to the pool. Yeah. This is personally me trying to construct a team that has influence. Right. Um, that can make hits that also resonates with people and I think will create and has created timeless, timeless music. Mm -hmm. um, and with that being said, I know we already <laughs> visited Atlanta. We already been to Atlanta. <laughs> um, and I want to make this pick with the preference of rest in peace, take off. I'm going to go with the Migos. Ooh. You know what? You have to do that. I am going to go Ooh. with the Migos. Wow. Damn, I am, culture. Ooh. I am going to go with the Migos. I also wanted to Ooh. reconnect Cardi with Offset. You know okay. what I'm yeah, saying? I wanted, cute, to, I wanted to keep the family. I wanted to keep Ooh. it family oriented. Okay. And Ooh. I don't know if y'all remember like what that. that 2013, like 2016, that. 2012, 2016 Migos run was. Mm. But it was outstanding. It was iconic. Everybody needed the Migos flow. Hit him on Tina. 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 Boom. 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 Trends. They had the, you know, without them meeting Joe, the Joe Button Exchange, I don't know where we would be at. God damn it! Like I don't, I don't know. I had to take. That's a culture pick right there. I don't know. So the Migos for me, okay. I feel like it's, it's a real strong. And again, I'm, I'm damn. really big. One of the things for me is versatility. I feel like all of these artists they have cross collaborated in some capacity, and they also reach outside of their region. So correct. I, I, I do like the Migos. Um, that is my next pick, but I do get a second pick. God damn it! Fuck! I do get another pick. Fuck! And I know Alex, you're about to do it. I already no, know no, you're about no, to no, say. No, no. What do you know you're about to? What say. do you think I'm about to do? I know what you're about to do. Do you? Yeah, I, do. I think you might actually. I know. know. And that's exactly what you're up. about to do. It's fucked because up. we all talked about the that's 2010s. Not, god damn it! That person not even for you. And <laughs> let him come. <laughs> that that person not even for you. So, with that being said, um, let, me, let me just set it up. Let me just set it up. Yeah, let me go just ahead set it up. Set it just because you know and we know, they I'm don't know. know. The Needs of the Podcast. Um, hate this, again, just going back to versatility, man. I, that's really big for me. But I also want to be introspective. I also want to take time to think. I also think prioritizing your mental health is important. I also oh, think brother. versatility. And with the abilities to make hits, there are not too many people who have that bag. And you always need an underdog on your team. You always need somebody who sets trends. We also want to dive. We, we want to just dip a little toe in the fashion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Alex, he got Travis. He got Kanye. That's Those are the big dogs in fashion. I like the people who kind of fly under the radar, who don't go as appreciated as they should, but they are appreciated in my heart. And again, for what they did in this era of 202010, I can't wait and continue to see what he does after. Wait, can I? So would this person be really good with someone on my team? Oh, for sure. Yeah, okay, the team he's, chemistry. He's he would throw yeah, your team sure. chemistry through the he'll be fucking great with my favorite rapper, right? charts. He'll be great with my favorite rapper. He would be amazing okay, with okay, your okay, favorite yeah. rapper. Okay, okay. But just do again, it. For, for my team, just looking at where we are, I think he has the cohesion to really make this a strong, no, powerful team. Man. So with that being said, I think the albums, I think the clicks that he's been a part of. And also, he is a trailblazer. I know. 
Mm-hmm. And that is the Especially- one and only. Wale. Yes, sir. Okay. Wale off the board, goddamn Especially it. in the Wale. blog era, like, yes. See, uh, uh, I would like to veto. Wale off the board, <laughs> goddamn it. I would like to veto. You cannot use your Nigerian no. influence. <laughs> no, this is, like, actually the definition of what we're doing. Uh, the 2010s rap draft is yes. Wale. No, like, it is. It Wale. Is. So... I just want to run down my team so far. I just want to run down my team. You know, he loves us because one of his best songs is called Need to Know. Inspired the podcast. How could I even... Like, yes, he inspired the fucking podcast. So again, shout out to Wale. I'm going to round out my team in this... This is the fifth round now, right? This is my... Yes. Round five. This is round five. Pick one, round five. That's my fifth fifth pick. We got... I I have one more pick, per se. Y'all have two more picks, but let me just give y'all track of where my team is right now. (laughs) I got Drake. Future, Cardi B, The Migos, and Wale. God, That's why I'm going I'm right t- now. Nah, I'm dead eyes tight. Alex, you on the clock, Mr. Tight Man. Watch <laughs> hey, your yo. mouth. Hey, I don't ever call me Mr. Tight crazy. Man. Don't ever call me Mr. Tight Man. Why you took my nine job, brother? Out? Honestly, we're, we're gonna run in your house. Of and these... steal him. Sorry. <laughs> we're gonna steal him. You're not making any trade, huh? You, you're not making any trade. No trade. No, I love all my people. You but I feel people? like all the, all, not all, not all. A lot of the big players are off, and now we're getting really to the nitty gritty right now. For sure. I mean, it's funny, you know, you know, I kind of went with early 2010s to start, right? You know, I went Kendrick, Nick, you know, Nicki Minaj, Kanye West, and then I started to open up to, you know, the new goats, right? What I did, Travis Scott? Yep. Cool, cool, cool. This next guy, oh, he a one-on-one. Matter of fact, Last year, they were calling him the savior of hip-hop. They were calling this guy the savior of hip-hop because for the first time in a very long time, hip-hop wasn't, a number one, wasn't the number one genre until his album came out. <sighs> okay, I'm not mad at this pick. Take him. Okay. Take him. With Take the him. fifth pick <laughs> in the 2024 Need to Know Draft for 2010 Players and Up, Team A selects Little Uzi Vert. Wow. And that's what I was saying. You know, you were talking about pairing certain players with players. I like how you pair Drake and Future. I like the Travis and Lil Uzi pair. You know that when, is powerful. When they click up, it get crazy. Like I yes. said, we like we like numbers here. We do. Okay, we love people that do things that haven't been done before. We do. You feel me? We like innovators here. See, Lil Uzi for he's an innovator. Mm-hmm. He gonna pop out with a pocketbook because why? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and who gonna check him? Nobody. Okay, so with the fifth pick here at the Need to Know Draft for Team A, we are selecting Lil Uzi Vert. Again, I could run off my picks. Kendrick Lamar, Nicki Minaj, Kanye West, Travis Scott, and uh, lastly, just now, Lil Uzi Vert for the fifth pick. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. He, he that Wale was... shit hurt me. <laughs> Wait, and also the um, Uzi and Nicki. Couldn't that chemistry. For, couldn't forget that. Thank you so much. You, you Why am I jo- helping him? You want a job? job in? <laughs> you want a job? You want a job? Do you want a job with us? No, because I just <laughs> genuinely love music that I forgot I'm supposed to hate him right now. <laughs> we could click up and put the label together. All right. Wait, so no, but now I have to finish my team. You have two picks. Yeah, yes, two picks. So, I don't like that. So how about this? Look, you yeah, say your we... first pick. We take a little break. We pause. We do what we do. And you, we as you think for about the final round. Yeah, and then we debrief for the final round. So mm-hmm. this is your fifth pick. Okay. So let us know where you want to go with know this. I just know that, okay, we're going to, you know, drop this episode. We're going to do a little graphic and you're, we're going to see our teams, yep. right? Just written out. Yep. And people are going to see that. I know this person's not going to be received well. Oh, shit. Don't do it. But we have you're to. You're going against the grain. Don't do it. But this is a part. I'm going to do this for the real fans that are listening to us. Okay. We're okay. doing the 2010s and, yep. and forward. If we talk about the 2010s, you oh, know. Oh, you're going to pick him. I'm tight. I was, I was, fuck. you know, oh, just wow. a little girl. Yeah, fuck. Oh, wow. Oh, fuck. That's how you feel? <laughs> no, okay. I, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. No, I know who you guys think I'm going to pick. But no, I'm you not. don't. Say it. Okay, so. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit, I know what she's going to do. I'm going to do the intro first. I feel like it'll be funnier if I do it like this. So, with this person. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have y'all soundtrack to every football game, every basketball game, every sporting event. Every time we're riding out of town off to get the championship, I'm going to have all the athletes. I'm going to have all your dreams and your nightmares. I'm going to have the biggest Damn. anthem. I know I gave Savon, Bodak, Yellow, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. I know these two have sickle mode on the board. <laughs> You know, but my dreams are worth more than money. So 
I'm just saying all the terms that I can. <laughs> She's cooking. With the crazy, fifth man. round, Team Reggie selects prime time Meek Mill. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Damn, I got to clap for that. That's a pick. I got to clap for that. Because he has the Dream, Chaser, the Dream Chasers mixtape. Yes, a with, pick. Oh, my God. Like, it has flex. Like, it, like let's not forget what he did, you know, yes. in his prime. Yeah. But all the way up until 2018, then that's when he dropped Championships, which has one of my favorite songs ever, Uptown Vibes. Mm-hmm. Like, he really was consistent. And, you know, in the you know in the last few years, we don't have to talk about that. We don't have to talk about that. <laughs> but I don't know. Dreams are worth more than one. He has Lord Knows with Tory Lanez. He has Jump Out the Face with Future, All Eyes on You with Chris Brown and Nicki. Rico, Amen with Drake. Like, I don't know. Like, it's undeniable. Like, I don't want people's recency bias to forget that Meek Mill is really him. And he really is one of my favorite rappers. I'm sure. And yeah, and again, I said this already, but I have Dreams and Nightmares, the best anthem of all time. I know Savon has March Madness, but I don't know, guys. I'm not mad. That's I'm a hurt. strong pick. I'm and hurt. I have Going Bad by Drake, which which is at a billion plays uh, on Spotify. We can link up. Don't worry. We can link up. <laughs> I'm very hurt because. So, I, yeah. Oh yeah, you no, here. please finish. No, so finish. I have Nipsey, J Cole, Megan Thee Stallion, Young Thug, and Meek. I'm pretty happy oh, with that, and I, like I have that. one more pick, but. It's too much pressure, guys. We have to debrief. <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm not mad at that at all. Let's, let's, let's. Damn, I'm mad at my leg's shaking, y'all. These, these are some great. Yo, Pierre, yeah. we want to hear from you. Well, hold on, one second. Can I just have a, ask a question? Okay. Did you guys think when I was like, oh, he might not like him now, but 20, did you guys think I was going to pick Fab? Nah, Meek. I knew oh, you, really? Yeah, okay. I knew you thought I was going to pick Fab? I'm you not going to say my name because he, he, they're still on the board. You know, okay, what, okay. you know what stood out? You said 2010s. Yeah. And Meek was definitely a part yeah. of that class, right? Remember, they thought Meek was going to be with Kendrick Lamar and Drake mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and, and uh, J. Cole. So I, yeah. he was, yeah. he is definitely that class. Like from 2013 to like 2018, he was really him. Yeah, he turned the fuck up. Yeah, I'm not mad now. at that. Yeah. And I still love you, Meek. Yeah, with yeah. these uh, first five <laughs> picks, how, how, how are you feeling? Are there any surprises? Mm-hmm. Like, talk to me. Yeah, no, you guys did good. I was uh, interested to see um, kind of your uh, reasoning behind who you picked and when you picked them. I think Alex, for me right now, might have the strongest fan base with the barbs. Why did um, you have to say that? Now you hurt my feelings. <laughs> High <laughs> heels on oh, my. Yep. She a ball too low. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> but nah, y'all did good. Y'all did good. This is this is very cool. This is interesting. Uh-huh. Um, let's see. I'm, I've written down all your selections right here. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, think, your, um, Alex also uh-huh. has. I was on the plane with Dwayne. You can you call, call it. it yeah, 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 yeah. Man. Is there any kind of baddest in there? A hundred baddest in there? Come on. Excuse me, honey, uh-huh. but nobody's in my life. I said, come Let on. Let me stop. What we doing? I don't know why I'm picking up his team. What we? Because you fuck it's with him. Okay, love. but you don't it's have Nipsey Hussle, though, so whatever. No, I'm going to cry now. <laughs> I'm going to cry. And the other thing, too, I was going to say, the other uh, surprise pick, well, not surprise, but really good pick for me was uh, Reggie, because you picked Meg. Yeah. And that's also still current, but mm-hmm. also another big, strong of another strong fan base. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, you guys are doing good. I, I'm very interested to see what's going to happen in round six. Okay. This is, I don't know. It's about to get explosive. One... Oh, so my team ass. No. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, doing it, I'm doing it a little uh, one at a time. No, I got to be able to play you. No, Pierre, because no, you're like, I'm just saying to see what's next. And you didn't mention Save All. No, 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 Save All was next. No, no, I got you. You know he has Drake, right? Yeah. I think y'all saying. Nah, nah, nah. I was going to say. I was going to say. The, I'm two, the two biggest things for me with Savon is he got Cardi and Drake. So that's, that's a, very that's, powerful. Yeah, that's he's yeah. doing some things with that. Both yeah. of them bring him outside. I can't mm-hmm. lie to you. You're going to take over that number one spot on the Billboard 100. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like it's just going to be Drake, Cardi, Drake, Cardi. Nah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, these scenes are tough. I'm sick salute to y'all, man. Yeah. But let's let's get into the last round. Salute, niggas, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> How, about <that? laughs> How about that? All right, we got one more round. One more, yeah, round. One more round in this draft. Again, uh, for anybody who's just joining the podcast, yeah, this is big. The criteria right here. is uh, 2010s rappers. Uh, we have the ladies Fuck. on our team, and your prominent bodies of work have to have happened between 2010 and now. And that's it. That's the only criteria for this draft. And and, and it's only rappers. It's only hip-hop artists. We aren't doing R&B. Yeah. We aren't doing the hybrids. We're keeping it within rap, within hip-hop. I think the teams are really strong. I like it. Um, I'm curious to see where y'all go with this last pick. What's the I, order? I, I, I mean, Reggie, is she's still first on the board. Reggie on the go. Right? Like, we've been buying her a little bit of time. There's a mm-hmm. lot of places for her to go right now. I'm uh-huh. upset because this is where it gets tricky. This is where it gets it really really tricky. Yeah, right. at, Remember yeah. I told you, the la- ladder rounds. You did. You did the warn me that rounds. this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky. I don't know yeah. if I'm going to pick with my heart. Yeah. 
I don't know if I want to pick with my bottom line. That's, you took the words right out of my mouth. Like no. I don't know where. Now I keep picking go how y'all been picking with this last pick. <laughs> what you been using for your last pick? Um, <laughs> yeah, our picks were good. No, your shit good. I'm over here trying to clown him because he was hating on me. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> you um, you've done phenomenal. <laughs> now nah, don't say I did phenomenal, nigga. Wait for Reggie. You've done phenomenal. No, for, yeah, Peter, phenomenal this far. Pierre gave us like sympathy words because he was like, "Alex killing that." <laughs> nah, od, od, od. <laughs> no, he's not. Nah, he got the bars. The bars. Listen. Guys, if you but guys just because you a bar nigga, that don't mean he got the like. What I, the fuck? I'm just because you a bar. Are you a bar? He nah, got not, me. We all bar. Yeah, we yeah. all love Nikki, but like, yeah, is he a sure. barb? Sure. I love Nikki, but I'm not like, no, okay. I'm, I'm not like, number you're not one copping the, the paint. Yeah, nah, nah. Okay, okay. I bet, Reggie, I think your last pick was really strong. Meek Mill, I didn't think, I thought She's I was going to be able to get tight. it. I really did. I'm not going to lie. I thought I was going to be able to get Same. I thought yeah, you were going to drop down. One. Yeah, 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 I did. So, people, I feel like people, because I haven't talked about this love, for, my love for Meek Mill a lot, but he really is one of my favorite rappers, yeah, like ever. Yeah. <sighs> Don't get me tight, please. <laughs> You got one more pick. There's you know what? You guys are you, you guys are not gonna be bad at me for this because oh, this am. is such a personal pick. Okay. Um, I'm scared. Like it is such a personal. I'm just really throwing this out there in hopes that the listeners or like people who see this on social media that I will find my people through this. Yeah, find your tribe. Find yeah, your tribe. Yeah, that I will yeah. like. This is a they very not an acquired taste, but very specific, very close to my heart. I'm voting with my heart right now. I'm just putting you know as my six man. Don't get me tight. Because okay, okay, I'm gonna just say it. Okay, okay. Please, please, please. So, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're, fine. you're not going to be this sure. guy. So, for my last and final pick, the guy that I, will give me the consistency that I need. He has been consistent his whole, whole, his whole career, never let his fans down. For my sixth pick, I'm going with Currency. <gasps> so, wow. the reason why I'm going with Currency is because when you think of the blog era, I think of Currency. If you were there, you if you know, you know. If you know, you know. I don't have to explain it. If you know, you know. Wow. Um, currency c- the reason son. The reason why, oh, because I have Nipsey, so I feel like that's going to be phenomenal. But I guarantee you, Currency is your... F- rappers favorite, favorite rapper. rapper like yes, if you know sure. you fucking know and honestly it's a consistency and it's a frequency like he never switches up and he he drops like five projects a year and as a coach i like that shit and <laughs> you know he has the alchemist on his side we get the dom kennedy's on his side he dropped the stone immaculate in 2012 which is like a fucking classic um i just had to do it it was either him or larry june i know like i just i just had to do it for my heart I have five strong contenders, and he's my missing piece. Mm. Um, he's gonna bring the piece, and with that, I conclude Team Reggie. Wow! Thank you. Wow! I mean, if you want to talk about consistency, mm. currency is one of the first yeah. ones on that list. He has like thirty projects out. Yeah, yeah. He, he'll he can knock an album out mm. in two days. And also, okay. I just feel like that vibe. I want like all these people that I pick. Yeah. The five people is very like hit makers mm-hmm. for they're gonna bring the money like the mm-hmm. megans like mm-hmm. but for me personally like the crowd that currency is gonna bring the fan base that he's gonna bring to my squad is is what i like the type of people that for. i want that's like it, that's your tribe i want like yeah. the peaceful chilling we're just gonna take a drive mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. along the coastline and that's who i want to vibe with so currency please will you join my team <laughs> okay well we're gonna talk after the draft over Okay. I'm not mad We're at gonna that. Talk. It could be Don't some... they do that during draft night? Like... Yeah, they do some swaps. Yeah, yeah. and then like do some swaps. that night, people yeah. are like, oh, by the way, you're on the Kings you're, now. Yeah, like, you're not on this team no more. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what me and you're going to gonna talk. We can do trades if y'all want. Yeah. All right. No, you have to be confident in your team. No, I am. I am. I am. I am. So wait, say Vaughn picking next. No. no, no, no. no <laughs> why do you keep trying? <laughs> you don't understand the snake order. No, no he, he doesn't understand. No, he, nah, nah, but he just wants nah, us to keep saying nah, nah, it. Nah, 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 nah. He don't. He don't get it. He don't get it. You think I can get trained by that? You don't get it. Come on, but oh, oh, now I'm gonna cry. Like I'm here. What? Okay. Damn, Reggie. One pick left. I ain't gonna lie. It was either this next person I'm picking or it was currency. Was it really? I'm dead serious. Aww. When it comes to the 2010s, I'm, I'm just going to name a person I'm not going to pick, so save on. Wait, what if he was going to pick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sorry, yeah, no, yeah. I can't just, mention Yeah, just name your pick. And yeah. then we'll, we'll talk, do all that And the then we'll talk about uh, our honorable mention. Yeah, that, that's, okay. good, that's good. That's good. Because you might spark an idea for sure, greatness. You know sure. what I'm saying? It's Uh-oh. funny we bring it up the 2010s. I remember being in middle school and uh, high school. And okay. uh, groups really dominated that time. Uh-oh. This next individual I'm picking really <laughs> broke out of the group and became a global star throughout the 2010s and to the early 2020s to where we are now. You know, I went L.A. to start. 
<laughs> I feel like it's only right we bring it right back to no other than Tyler the Creator. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Tyler, the creator, Odd Future Wolf Gang was amazing. All of the members, after some time, broke up. Once he left the group, man, did he turn into a superstar, didn't he? Can you, can you, stop, can you stop talking to us? <laughs> Rub it in. What? what did he? Rub it Because you make my earthquake. Ain't that, just so, ain't that just how it go, right? That's a, that's a good one. That's a good one, right? That's a great one. So here. We know how it goes, Alex. <laughs> okay. I conclude. My time here today with Tyler the Creator. So if we need one more quick rundown, folks, as Kendrick Lamar. Oh, he's like, oh, by the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> by the way, Kendrick Lamar, Nicki Minaj, Travis Scott, Little Uzi Vert. Uh, Kanye. Kanye West. And lastly, Tyler the Creator. We're done here. We wash our Pierre's hands. Pierre's deadass. Alex is his favorite team. Because he's like, oh, yeah, you got Kanye, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Make, sure, make sure you don't forget him. Don't forget I feel it. like mine is a very acquired taste. That's all right. Wow. We love acquired taste here. Like, <laughs> Ain't no problem. Me too. Like, you have to really... My Let team is a home. very... Yeah, I'm going to call my team... <laughs> my, my team is the if you know, you know yeah. team. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. I like... No, we're going to click up. This motherfucker right here. <laughs> See, look, look, look. The thing, the thing with that pick, I'm not mad at it, nah, but it, would, it wouldn't be a personal pick. But yeah. as Reggie said earlier in the episode, yeah. what I am thinking about yeah. subconsciously yeah. is what this graphic is going to look like. Because I know me, having Absolutely. Meek Mill on my fucking graphic is going to kill me. I don't, no. I don't know if that will no. kill you. No. I Honestly, so. I, don't, I don't know. This is centered around rappers from 2010 and oh, I don't know if that's gonna kill you. Because people don't like him anymore. That's like, it, like right currently. Yeah. Like if I'm being honest, it is playing a role in how I go about picking. Like it's steering me away from my personal picks. Don't be like so. That, so you gonna take my niggas like Wale? No, that was a personal pick. That was a personal. Oh, that was personal. Strong. That was strong. That was strong. Like come yeah, on. Nah, come it was on, personal. Man. Like Drizzy, yeah. Wale. You know what they do. That's like, but that's strong. Um, with that being said, my final pick. Alex, I see the direction that you went. I, you actually, you actually um, surprised me. I didn't know you, you would be <laughs> such a mainstream whore. Uh, I, I thought that would be me, honestly. And and not saying, yo, your well, team is your great. Team is. No, I, I'm not saying it's not. But Alex <laughs> is like, he's trying to sell tickets. <laughs> okay, you, you, you <laughs> thought he might have gone more the route that I went. I thought he would have picked what is what is gotcha. Heart, right? <laughs> gotcha. Al Alex is. Sick. I know who I'm dealing with. He's trying to create a super team, and I and he has created a super team, so I'm not mad at that. I will say Tyler is a very, very, extremely strong fucking pick. He has his own festival, so I get that. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I see the 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 vision and what it is Fly that you no. did. Honestly, Tyler shouldn't have me picked that late. He shouldn't have. We really did him dirty. I can't believe we let him drop that. Yeah, that's true. Um, I mean subjective i'm not mad sure, at that right sure, like sure. you may have swapped him for like a while a's for some people but again i did pick personally to myself i also did versatility i also did the encompassing of the 2010s i didn't sure. just focus on the now so did i right exactly <laughs> and, and you you've done a phenomenal thank job you, brother thank you brother um and with that being said i think this last pick is extremely difficult for me because there are going to be so many different artists Let me that see who in the pool. we haven't named. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I guess we'll get to our honorable mentions or maybe we'll sure. talk about our snubs, people who should have made it, people who could have made it. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, I am going to go on a personal pick. I am going to go on a talent pick. Um, I'm also going to go on a catalog pick. Um, again, the theme of my team has been versatility, diversity. That's something that I truly appreciate when it comes to creating the, 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 this, this roster that Team Slater has put together. <laughs> starting, starting with Drake, you know where Drake can go. I'll Drake can go everywhere. Yeah. International superstar. He is who he is. I also think Future, he's another person who's super versatile. Mm -hmm. I think Cardi B, she's the culture. Versatile Migo, like all of the mm -hmm. people that I've picked, they also have that pop appeal. Even Wale, Lady Gaga. We've seen what Wale is. Wale done. makes great the amazing pop records. Yeah. Oh, I know. Pop, yeah. like, so he makes good R&B records too. R&B. I needed that for the lady, and I am no so fucking glad you mentioned R&B <laughs> because my next <laughs> pick is more so of a hybrid. Now, I do want to caveat this pick so. with. We are focusing on music. Oh, I know exactly where you're going. <laughs> we not doing. King of Diamonds, no, my name. No antics. All right. Personal lives. 
They get a little bit shaky. Oh, fuck. But Say it. I do want to keep this in mind. We are doing a music draft for she 2010. She got me doing the dishes. I'm so. <laughs> so I cannot leave she this draft. Man, I'm the right but boy, I, I feel like this is a steal Say at it. this round. Okay, but that's but going to come with a lot of problems. It my will. God. With your team specifically. <laughs> I know. It's my guy. It's my but, guy. But we won. I, know, I, I, I need, cannot got leave me. this draft without including Tory Lanez to you round out my thank team. Thank you. Ooh, fucking thank you. I Somebody cannot, said it. Thank musically, you. catalog, talent, again, diversity, ability to entertain. Range, range. We saw the how he captured our hearts during the uh, the pandemic. Quarantine. The quarantine, quarantine radio. radio. Quarantine radio. The entertainment factor. I think a Tory Lanez, Drake, and Future song would oh sound my chef's kiss. Oh so, again... I dig team chemistry. I focus on my team's chemistry, diversity. I think mm. they got the sixth connection over in Toronto. Mm. Again, we're focusing on music. I, I don't want to go into personal lives and all of that shit. We haven't done that with <laughs> yeah. any of the picks, that including is true because, Kanye. Yeah, because for me, we really are focusing on the music because one of my rappers are in jail and the other one, <laughs> unfortunately, very unfortunately, <laughs> passed away. So we're not really including things outside of the music. So we're, I will give you that. We're I doing nigga, I picked that slavery wasn't real. <laughs> <laughs> We ain't keeping this draft on music. <laughs> like, and, and, and from the 2010s till now, I am very, very comfortable damn. with rounding out, rounding out my team with Tory Lanez. You, 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 you. <laughs> I did that. So, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? So, I like that one. That, that, that is my team. Yeah, hey, when it comes to the chicks tape, yeah, when it comes to oh Tory Lanez's God, that series, right? Everything. When it comes to his catalog as well and output. how diverse his range, the output, yep. how quick he can move, I, 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 Yo, I understand. I want to, I want to say, Savon, on behalf of the Umbrellas, we thank you. That yeah. is sick. We, yeah. we welcome you back into the family. You've been grafted <laughs> back in. To be like, to You're probably be the head Umbrella is crazy. <laughs> like. <laughs> Umbrella number one right here. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I want to also Musically, yeah. musically he's oh. undeniable. And again, we're talking yeah, music. No, we're no, talking 2010. So now we're talking about music. It's great. Um, and, and, and yeah, okay. I, I think that's how I want to round my team wow. out. There's so run it of, off for me. Run off your team. Okay, oh, yeah, everybody will run off for me. sure. Let's do it. Since, yeah. I, since I picked first, I will let y'all know. So Team Slater, Team Save On. I have Drake. I have Future. I have Cardi B. I got the Migos. I got Wale. And I got Tory Lanez. Mm. That's my six. Mm. Starting five, six man off the bench. I feel very confident with that record label. Yeah. Very confident. Uh -huh. Versatility, diversity, hits, chemistry, all of it. I think I covered all yeah. of my bases. The Don't only base. Yeah, I'm happy with my team. Yeah. The only base I might have missed was the West Coast, but it is okay. I feel like y'all held it down. And this is a bad time to not fuck with the West Coast. Yeah, y'all <laughs> held it down on the West Coast, and I got love for the West. Mm -hmm. But y'all took some of the heavy hitters. Yo, I literally, I, I'm, I know I should have said this at the end, but I'm gonna just say it now just because he said it. But I was really stopping myself from going. Full West Coast, like literally Word. Larry June, YG. Like oh, I literally had to stop myself, like because if you stuff. really look at my um like Spotify on repeat every year, like mm -hmm. it's all West Coast artists. But I had to like think think strategically. But, yeah, no, yeah, you, you, honestly, you did a phenomenal job. Like, no, no, you. that's it. That's that's my list. I, I think I, I like my team. I think I'm I'm built to go against anybody in any arena in any setting. Y'all want to go to the strip club? We could go there. If y'all want to be depressed, we could go there too. <laughs> Wherever y'all want to go, I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna take you with my team. It's gonna be a lot of love songs. Wherever you, you want to go, I can take you with my team. And we got gangster. We in the Bronx. We uptown with it. Hello. Shout out to Cardi. Big Bodak, boogie. you feel me? <laughs> so yeah, let's 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 do that. Pick two. How you feeling, Alex? How you feeling about your yeah, team? Recap your team. And uh, I mean, post draft interview. I mean, you know, they doubted us. Oh, for sure. Literally, nobody doubted you. <laughs> no, I didn't. Say right next oh, to you. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> my fault. I said they. You not they. My fault, Red. <laughs> they doubted us. <laughs> I'm pointing that Savon for the audio listeners. You know, we're very content here at Team A. I feel like we really did a very good job of keeping people who were prevalent in the 2010s, but also people that were able to maintain that longevity into the 2020s. You know, we're talking hit makers here. We're talking people that are selling out arenas here, you know, and I can't wait to get into honorable mentions after me and Reggie recite who are on our teams for the last time. So I'll do it one more time. That is yeah. shit. Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar, yep. Travis Scott. Kanye West, Nicki Minaj, Tyler the Creator, and lastly, Pierre, help me out there. You got little, little, little Uzi Vert. So many hit makers, I can't even keep up. <laughs> you couldn't even remember that. Hey, hey, I'm on Drewski. Fuck them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I could have been 
Yeah, this could have been, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you do what I say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yes, uh, we're very content here. We're willing to go up against anyone. You know, I'm, some some people are calling us. You know, the uh, the Warriors. What 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 was your strategy going into this draft? Because like I said, for mine, yeah, I really wanted to focus on diversity. Yes, I really wanted to uh, focus on team chemistry. How yeah. I think the artists would create songs together. Absolutely, that was a big point of emphasis for me. What was your draft strategy? Uh, my main draft strategy going into this, because like Savon stated when this started, y'all, we didn't have our picks ready to go. We didn't know who was going first, second, or third. So because of that. I said I can't be myself going into this draft. Mm-hmm. Why? Mm-hmm. Because I would have very took it very personal. Mm-hmm. Okay. I and I know who I'm going up against. So Savon assumed I was gonna go that route. And like we just, you would have drafted like <laughs> ODB or something. Yeah, ODB. <laughs> <laughs> Cash. You pulled the okie doke. <laughs> Wale. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been some little niggas on that shit. Is that right? For no, see, I, now, I, now, honestly, I was going to take Nipsey, Reggie, but then you guys, I was sick about that real shit. So that was like my, my main strategy going into this. Deceive the two of y'all. Because y'all think y'all know. You heard Reggie? You heard the name she said to start with, right? She thought I was going to draft that. <laughs> it went, all the, went the other way around with it. I know I couldn't be myself because y'all know me. Yeah. So that was my strategy going into it. I'm not mad. I think you, it worked out. You, you fooled me. You had me fooled. Gotcha. You did that. Thank you, brother. I never doubted him. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's the music person out of this pod, so like... Yo, he doubted Which me. I thought he was going to lean into being a music guy. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know he was trying to make money. <laughs> no, 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 but we have I to... I didn't know he was trying, trying to get to the we're, we're trying to appeal to the masses, and he knows that. Nah, but see, he don't care about the masses. I do. I, some of them niggas. But now, see, <laughs> he picked all of the masses. He took, he took Nicki Minaj and Lil Uzi Vert. Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> the niggas mad. I get oh, it. shit, they I get it. it. I get it. <laughs> That's not like my team, that <laughs> we did it. Wait. We did it. <laughs> Nikki, Travis Scott, Uzi Vert, Tyler. Like, Kanye Kanye West. West. You don't even like this I team. love all them niggas. That's the thing. I love all them niggas. I've been in mad car rides with you. What you mean? You never bumped your team. We bumped Astro World from top to bottom. In my car. <laughs> but I was there. You knew my but pick. I, but but I, I, I told you to put it on. You want to beef in the trap. You knew my pick. You want to beef in the trap and I said put it on Astro World. Did you know I was going to take Travis? Yup. <laughs> <laughs> the same way I think you was taking Wale, bitch. <laughs> yeah, and I throw the bracelet. You should have left. If you left Wale alone, I would have left. I would have left him. You wouldn't have. But it's okay. Right. I love your team. I love your team. You did a uh, phenomenal but job. I will go into job. like personal favorites in these honorable mentions. Yeah. Should I Wait, keep? No, no, no let's, we, let's go I right do, and We're all going to go into honorable mentions. Yeah, for sure. So here at Team If You Know You Know, um, my strategy going into this was to pick people with like those really like out, like above normal unshakable dedicated like fan bases like that's why i went with like who i went with so like nipsey that. I like that. he's our north star he's gonna lead us to greatness i think he's the greatest to ever live um <laughs> j cole you know as much as you want to if you're not a j cole fan it's okay but if you get it like he has one of the most dedicated fan bases in the game he can sell out festivals he really speaks about his life he has the people that the fans like really love him so and then megan no explanation needed. Selling out arena, arenas. My girl is killing it. Young Thug, a trailblazer, changed the game forever. I keep forgetting I have Young Thug on my team. Yeah, that's like, what got me tight. He really like changed the game forever. So, and I have Atlanta on my side now. Prime <laughs> Meek Mill. I got to put the prime there. Prime Meek Mill, Dream Chasers, Championships. I love him. And then now when I voted with my heart, I added Currency as my sixth man. He's going to give me what I need, the consistency, the frequency, and that fan base. I will never switch up on him. Um, I don't know. I just feel good. I went with what I wanted to do. You know, I'm not chasing the charts like these whores. And I just I just know the people who will vote for me as the best team. I don't care if I don't win. I care That's about right. finding my people who appreciate the people that I appreciate and that's that right. I picked. Your tribe. Yes. I respect that. I know that's right. I know when a nigga bound out of a race. <laughs> I'm not she got gold on the team. <laughs> nah, I respect that. She got gold on the team. Oh shit! Oh, that was funny. That was funny. I have no, no. I have Nipsey oh. and Young Thug. Like, come on. Nah, those are the. I'm not bad enough. I'm, I'm, I'm saying yeah, my you know. strategy. All sure, jokes aside, sure. when I was mentioning trades, those are the two people I'm upset that you drafted. So salute to you or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that was no, shady. You, you, you got it real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. It was shady. I want to. I want to also say uh, the list we had is about 130 some odd artists from 2010 till currently. Mm-hmm. So. They include I'm, some I'm things in it, though, like yeah, Frank yeah. Ocean and yeah. shit. Yep, yep, it was yeah. a very big pool. And I think we'll do this again. But Absolutely. before we even get to that next phase, yeah. there are a lot of people we left off of the list. Absolutely. 
Um, on the NFL fantasy app, you get a player queue, mm -hmm. meaning if they're not drafted yet, you can select that player. And if they're available, when is your time to draft? You can put them on your team. They're queued up, right? right. Um, there's a lot of people that we left off of this. And again, this is a 2010s mm -hmm. to now. This mm -hmm. is not just recency bias. Mm -hmm. So I think a pick like me, to pick the Migos, obviously, again, rest in peace, uh, take off. Mm -hmm. We understand they broke up. They had some turmoil before the end of the Migos. We will never see the Migos in full strength again. Yeah. But again, just taking into consideration what they did for that time. Yeah. And even the members individually, now we're not taking their individual catalogs, but the influence for me was something massive. I'm like, you know what? I need I needed that. I needed that. But they could have easily been an honorable mention. I don't think Wale made it out of our draft without being picked, but I think in other drafts, he, he may not be as highly touted. So he could have easily been like an honorable mention. Um, there's a lot of names on these lists that I feel like, all right, maybe they could not have been named. And they weren't named. God, I'm like so surprised that none of us picked this person. Say because it. he's like probably the most coveted Say it. rapper ever. Why did anybody pick Logic? <laughs> Yo. You know why I picked Logic. <laughs> Ain't nothing logical about that shit. I'm kidding. We just had, we're going to end the episode without a Logic stray. You know, I did see Logic and Russ hanging around. Mm -hmm. Can you see it's, it's Russell with Logic. No, for sure. Facts. Mm -hmm. For sure. Easy. So you have to your organization was like looking at Logic, like y'all was checking his stats. Y'all went, went to his summer, you, you, his summer game. You gotta respect the the niggas with the weird games. Okay, we've seen. <laughs> look what Jokic did to the league. <laughs> All right, look with dirt. Like you gotta expect the for the, the foreigners. Yeah. They get in their bag once in a while. Logic, I would consider him a foreigner, but okay. gotta cover he's, all your bases. he's very effective in his lane and what he does. What he, he, does. he wasn't gonna be on my team. Got you. Got Never you. on this team. <laughs> but I, I can understand yeah. somebody may select him. Um, okay. There's a few names that come to mind for me. Yeah. You want to go first? Yeah, yeah. I'll say the the the, the person I'm really surprised none of us picked. You're gonna say Big it. Sean. Oh, I ain't surprised. Let me check. Uh, 2010s. I'm talking. We know, are talking 2010s till now. Alex, don't make that face with Big Sean. Big Sean is my dog. That's I know, my Aries it's, brother. It's recency I love bias. Big Sean. Don't do it that. It is recency it bias. Is, it no, 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 no. Do not do that. I love Big Sean. Let me talk. No, Marvin Gaye and Shawnee. Yo, my last. I'm, oh my God, I almost had the lyrics to my last on my body. I love that song. Let's not do that with Big Sean. Hey, all right. Big Sean was very influential. He was part of the reason why I wanted those black cement threes. Okay, I'm not gonna sit here and try to act like he wasn't influential. Boy. I, I do it. And his Detroit mixtape. Now, can we talk about that? And his Detroit mixtape. That yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Twenty-four carats a go. All of that. Oh shit my god, there, yes. Right. Can we talk about Big Sean? Let's do it. And I think why subconsciously we all had this in the back of our heads. I think in comparison to the field in the 2010s and shit, even now, he's kind of like just outside mm -hmm. the people who are more relevant or just more impactful with music. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like we we've seen interviews of Kanye West joking about. You know, not signing him potentially or joking about the way he rapped back then. But I think in the 2010s, he was definitely a part of that class, right? Currency, Wiz Khalifa is another name we didn't oh mention. Oh my God, fucking Wiz um, Khalifa, right? Oh yeah. Wiz Khalifa, Big Sean, Big Crit we didn't mention. Oh like, my God. Big Sean and them were all encompassed in that, right? Can I just say, yeah, yeah Big Sean, guys, I really think we should have, oh, man, because remember his album, one. Dark Sky Paradise? I like Dark with Sky Paradise. With all his fought with Kanye West, I did. with Plain Old Games, with Chris Brown. Oh, I do. That's a classic. God. I'm really surprised Big Sean didn't get selected mm -hmm. in this. Yeah. But like you said, right, based on our criteria, again, I'm thinking versatility. Right. That was my strategy. I wanted a diverse sound. I mm -hmm. wanted niggas that could get on a song and really spit. Mm -hmm. I wanted niggas that could make a song for the ladies. I wanted people who had the longevity. Again, no it's shot, no, up. no shot, no shade to Big Sean. No. I don't know the last time his shit rang off like that. <laughs> you got honest. You know what it was? My, the nigga, my last picks behind bars. He could drop something right now. It goes up. <laughs> Mine too, the young thug. <laughs> you wanna know what it is? I think we were all confused when. Big Sean went from tippy tie, tippy tay, you gonna get some dip today. And then, like, <laughs> and, me, and then we get like the lyricism from a control, or we get the lyricism from what we heard in Detroit. It, it, it did kind of, or even uh, Marvin Gaye. But shouldn't Gaines we Sean, want that? We should want that, but again, just in comparison to his peers, right? Like, Currency embodied his sound. Nipsey embodied his sound. I think Big Sean came in with his sound and realized that he wanted to pivot a little bit because maybe it was starting to sound a little bit corny. If that makes sense. Because his style, his it. style is very 2010s. Yes, like, like we, very blog era. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. we we haven't heard him say "boy" 
in years. But yeah. when okay. it was cool, it was cool. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 So he was an honorable mention for me. Got you. Somebody mm-hmm. I looked at and I thought maybe one of y'all would take and I considered taking. Um, but again, just based on my personal strategy, that's why I left somebody like a Big Sean off my team. Is there anybody like, that comes to mind I for y'all? Like, yeah. y'all left off? What do you guys think about like you know how we keep saying 2010s and on? Mm-hmm. I feel like we should just say 2010s because even with you, like you having Kanye on your team, me mm-hmm. having you know, like Thug and like us, I feel like our list, all three of us would benefit from just saying this was a 2010s thing. But I ain't no? gonna lie, some of my artists are in the 2020s, on the 2019s. I okay, ain't gonna fine. Lie to you. Yeah, for sure. Even yeah. yours, Meg. Even yours, Meg. Wait, isn't 2019 like still 2010s? Okay. I yeah. don't know, whatever, whatever. But, That's like a. But, but now that we think pick. about it, most of these artists were out of before 2019 and no up, megan right? was like she was like 2016 yeah. 2018 yeah. like that was when she was like super super hot 2010s like, so. okay but whatever that we could figure that out later for okay. me honestly i really debated um putting asap rocky because Word. the asap mom in the 2010s they were really the coolest people to ever walk this earth i, I like, wanted to beat them niggas yeah like if you lived in new york <laughs> like he, they were the, like tumblr when yeah. tumblr was popping like soho they made ellie yeah. s lower east side mm-hmm. seems so yes, fly like, like peso yeah. yes so yeah. i mean but I didn't. But also, <laughs> he's fine. Asa Rock is doing fine. He's like good. Some honorable mentions on my side. Uh, Mac Miller. Oh, my God. I had that t- Can I say yeah. something that's kind of dark? No. Okay. So, I had... So, Nipsey, was, I was going to pick him regardless of the rules, whatever you got, whatever. I wanted Mac Miller, and I also wanted Pop Smoke. But then I didn't want the comments to be like, mm. why do you pick people that pass away? So. Got you, got you, got you. I Smoke. really wanted them three. Yeah. Pop was on my radar. Yeah. Pop, he was. Pop, Pop was too. on my radar. Uh, rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Yeah. And one of the reasons I didn't go with Pop Smoke is because I chose Cardi. And for me, it was mandatory that I had a New York presence. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was going to go pick the local nigga rapping at the bodega. If no, I you wasn't. Like, no, you wasn't. I was going to get somebody that embodied <laughs> New York on my list, no matter what. Yeah. Like, and the fact that I was able to get Cardi, right? Mm-hmm. Like, obviously, Nikki and Cardi, those are like the big fish. If they would have went first, yeah. I feel like I would have had to find a way to get Find pop. a New York guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, that's just my bias. And that's okay. Right. I'll take all that. Your, all your New York faves are all 20, 2000s. Yes. Like yeah, Jada, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jada, 50 yeah. Cent. For like, sure, yeah. for sure. So mm-hmm. I would have had to find a way, but Pop Smoke was definitely somebody yeah. you pop picked on him. my list. Nah, yeah. I wanted to. Pop Smoke was on my list and Mac Miller for sure. Like, mm-hmm. I remember being in high school being very attached to Mac Miller's mm-hmm. music. Like, he was one of the one white rappers I heard. And I'm like, yo, this dude just sounds like himself. Nah, mm-hmm. I mean, huh? But in the. Huh? Nah, M had his own thing going on already. That nigga was M already. That was Slim Shady already. Uh-huh. He already created that character. Okay. Mac just seemed like Mac Miller, like Blue Slide Park. Uh, yeah, but, kids. but well, when he started off, he was super like college frat boy. But then he yeah. his rebrand, like the Macadelic era, yeah, like he yeah. did it right and it actually landed. Absolutely, so, like, absolutely. Rest in peace, Mac Miller. Um, let's let's do like some rapid fire names who could have been mentioned that weren't mentioned on our list. And again, anybody who's listening, I know a lot of music snobs might tap in. Like, oh my god, you missed this person, but. Yeah. Like, Again, it's three of us, very quick rounds, mm-hmm. a lot of and dope like fucking names. artists. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. we 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 did it our own way. Um, but real quick, Lil Baby mm-hmm. mm-hmm. could have been on the list. I thought Ooh. maybe he got us got selected. What about Rick Ross? <laughs> Why yeah, you, you know, <laughs> yeah, Rick, Rick Ross. Ross is one of those tweeners. Yeah, because when he first came out, it was, was it? wasn't it? It wasn't 2000s. No, Rick oh. Ross debuted oh. in like 2006. Oh, no, like, like, like when he was hot, like. He's yeah, been hot for a long time. I got a bunch of dollars I could spend them all in her. That, that was, was featuring that was that was six, right? Yeah. You know, she could be my lady. She could. Yeah. Rick Rose been hot for a very long time. If for if sure. he would have been Miami. picked, if he would have been picked, yeah. I wouldn't have like gave too much pushback. I don't know if I would have allowed him in to the twenty tens. Oh, what, right. what happened to you and Pusha T? <laughs> yeah, I was wondering the you, same you thing. You got into a whole so argument over that name. Pusha T is also an honorable mention, but if we want to stay on my draft strategy, which is diversity, Pusha T is not the most diverse artist. Okay, okay. And okay. again, I'm staying true to being the general manager that I am. I want to sure. sell units. I want to be diverse. I want to sing to the ladies once in a while. I want <laughs> melodies. I want all of those things. Now, if I was creating the hardest niggas to ever live list, <laughs> Pusha T might have been on there. Oh. You get what I'm saying? Oh, There's yeah. just different criteria different for criteria. different lists. Um, and so for me, I had to I had to go with the list and the mm. team that I created. That's so but with that being said, <laughs> Gunna, none of us Gunna. chose Gunna. Yeah. Uh, uh, Benny the Butcher. Benny the Butcher. Yeah. Roddy Rich. Conway the Machine. Juice World. Uh, mm-hmm. Bryson. Eh, Bryson's more, more of a singer. R- yeah, yeah, R&B. I wouldn't put I mean, but Bryson when as a... He picked Tory, so... Yeah. Oh, but Tory does rap more than Bryson, though. I was introduced to Tory with raps. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, with you. I know he's. I know Damn. he's been singing for a while though. But I was introduced to him with rapping. 
A lot of people yeah, yeah. were introducing him. You don't have to do more than just Yeah, change. that's their introduction. I'm way before that. Like, <laughs> yeah. New Toronto, whatever. I forget, mm. I forget the Why, name. you want to give me another pick? I'll take another pick. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Roddy Rich, somebody yeah. we left off. Gunna. Lil Durk. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised nobody went the Lil Durk route. I was going to go Lil Durk when I went um, uh, Our Future Wolf Gang. Because Lil Durk and Tyler, the creator, to me are two people in the industry that really had two lifetimes. Right? Like, I remember the Dirk who was real, real, gritty, gritty. This ain't what you want mm -hmm. was OTF Dirk. And mm -hmm. then he turned into the mainstream Dirk with All My oh, Life and J. Cole. And all. Exactly. So I, I did want to pick him. I, I really did. I was almost there. If I had one more pick, I would have took Dirk. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to lie to you. Um, NBA Young Boy. Somebody like an NBA yeah. Young Boy. Yeah. Right? Like, there's a lot of artists that we didn't yeah. draft um, for this this particular draft. Denzel but I think Curry, there's a lot of Joey Denzel, Badass, Joey Badass. Yachty. Facts. Wait, <laughs> he wasn't on my list. Don't do that. Nah, for real. <laughs> I seen Bumps. where he was taking it. I see where you was going with niggas. <laughs> 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 nah. That's that New Yorker that you want in? Oh, he said Lil Yachty. Oh, Yachty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said Joey Badass. Sorry. No, Joey Badass. I'm, I'm talking like. A lot of oh, a boogie. Yes. Yeah, a lot of was on my list. Oh wait, yeah. the ladies, the ladies. I know we named like the big three. Yeah, but there was a lot of the a lot of women, as we saw on the BET Awards a few weeks ago. The women, they, they, they it is their time. Ice Spice, she was somebody. She was a sleeper on my list. Oh, was she? I was looking at Ice Spice. You was looking at Ice Spice. You were really looking at Pusha T. Real hard. I was looking at Ice Spice. When doesn't say won't look at Ice Spice? <laughs> that was funny, Pierre. That was funny. <laughs> I was considering Ice Spice. Um, Put on a minimum contract. <laughs> Somebody else that we, you know, and again, he wasn't on my list, but I could understand yeah. and I will respect it. But even the Chance the Rapper. Yeah. No, he, he played a part. Ch Chance the Rapper. He had a moment. Yeah. Kid, Acid Cu rap. Kid Cudi. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. a lot of artists mm -hmm. that, again, the three of us, we didn't select. It's no slight to them, but, no slight. No you know, I, I like our list. I think our list is defining of that era. Yeah. And, till now. Till now. Mm -hmm. Because even somebody like a Tory Lanez, yes, he's been out since the 2016s, but I think he really got his mainstream attention when he <laughs> What? <laughs> Please. What the fuck? Please. Please mute nah. this. Please. Nah. I can't even speak right now. No, he right was popping before that. I, feel like. <laughs> I can't even speak nah, what, right what, now. What, his resurgence came with um, what the uh, fuck? quarantine radio. <laughs> see, this is why. What the fuck? <laughs> this is why. You see why women... <laughs> You see why women hate men Tory Lanez fans, right? Because they do shit. Bro, like stop! It's you bleep. Bleep. It's bleeped. Okay. Yo, I don't know what I said, <laughs> nigga. My brain is is foggy. And but then not... they laugh about it after. That's oh, why. Oh my god, my brain is nah, foggy. I'm just right laughing now, at the bro. fact that he actually said that. Oh my. Childish Gambino. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Oh my. God. Another artist who really popped in the 2010s. So now, like, there's mm -hmm. a lot of dope Definitely talent Childish that we kind of left off this list. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm happy with my list. You want to run down your list one more time? It better have yeah, it. I want to run it down one it more time. Right Again, now. anybody. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> niggas better, yeah, niggas better have my shit down. Wait, we said it like six times. <laughs> really? Last time. Just last, last time. time. Back okay. to back to back to back to back. Okay, no explanations. Let's just no, like. No, for sure. Okay. My team. Team Savon, Team Slater. I went Drake, Future, Cardi B, Migos. Wale. Wale. Oh, you looked at me. I'm not Tori Lanez. Yeah. I'm not your team, nigga. We beef with you. Nah, because that was your pick. Fuck you. Yeah, 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 that was your pick. I just wanted to add some sauce Reggie. on it. That's it. Fuck you, Reggie. Okay, so for Team Reggie, we want Nipsey Hussle, J. Cole, Megan Thee Stallion, Young Thug, Meek Mill, and Currency. Okay, okay. Team A went Kendrick, Nicki Minaj, Kanye West, Travis Scott, Little Uzi Vert, and finally, Tyler, the creator. Love that. This was great. I think was was, that was like two hours. No, it was fun. <laughs> and, and let's wrap this thing up. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's add this to Please Add your group in mm -hmm. the in the uh, comments. I know this was a draft, but if you could pick, if we, what like we do what we, we did, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we took six, right? Yeah, give six. us your six. Oh, should they pick their six based on what we pick, and they can't pick ours? Or no, I want them to pick. Okay, okay, okay. I want Let's them pick. to pick however they feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let us know how y'all feel in the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with that being said, share this with your friends. We want to hear the commentary around this. It has been the Need to Know podcast. What you need to know, when you need to know, on the Need to Know podcast. Uh, yeah, let's get about it here. Peace. Okay.
What's going on, Need to Know Podcast family? If you made it this far into the podcast, we do have a special, special treat for you right now. This is our Patreon. We've been working on these for a very long time. We've gotten super vulnerable, super transparent, super honest, super fun, super flagrant, all the bullshit. It's over on Patreon. The description, the link is in the description below. Alex, Reggie, how you feeling about Patreon? Oh, man, we're getting really vulnerable over there. We're opening up about ourselves. I'm really excited <laughs> for them to see the content because we used to do this a little bit more and now we're getting right back to it yeah. yeah this time we're gonna be consistent though so make sure y'all stick yeah. around for that preview which is going down right now oh my god guys we finally made it back onto patreon after like how long i don't even want to think about how long actually we yeah. abandoned this community i know <laughs> what <laughs> happened you know i feel like it was even worse because before we abandoned like we promised like yo we have this new plan this, like we, we tried we tried. Sorry, I think we tried. We did try. We did try. If we're being honest. But this shit is hard, bro. Like, god damn. You got me in my basement right now sweating, like, trying to, like, get content. This shit I'm is I'm sweating, crazy. too. Yeah, because I you? can't, pu- I can't we- put on my air conditioning for this, so. Yeah, same, because it's going to, like, make noises. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I hope they don't hate us out there, though. Patreon community, we are so sorry. Uh, last few months, uh, Drake, Kendrick Lamar, mm-hmm. some guests have kind of uh, t- taken us away from you guys, so. Holy Reggie. shit. Yeah, what's up? I forgot to his Patreon. Like, we could be honest. You're supposed to be it honest does, all the time. It does feel like a little intimate. Like, I feel like we're all like, you know, we're in our house clothes. We're like, yeah. we're like in our rooms. Like, this is so weird. Like, <laughs> no, I was just going to say, like, we could talk about like people we hired. No, we can't. We fired. Like, no, no, we can't. Not uh, about people, but I'm just saying we can say we did that type of shit. That's what I mean. Uh, but what if they? What if they're listening though? Nah, but they know they got fired. If they got fired, man, niggas got fired. You want to talk us. about it? No, but no, that's why. No, I don't want to talk about it. I'm just <laughs> oh, saying, okay. like, we can at least mention it. Like on the main episode, I can't. Like, we can't say that. That's rude. Okay. But like, okay, these people talk, pay for this type of shit, so it's like, nah, like. Just to Alex's point, we had a lot yeah. going on with Drake mm-hmm. and Kendrick and hiring and firing and retooling and all that kind of mm-hmm. shit. Oh, also a studio. We we yeah. We got a lot of shit going on, man, but we made it. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Let's just do yeah. updates. Let's do updates now. Yes, let's do updates. Let's start here. Patreon community, thank y'all for being here. I know a ton of other people are going to be here. The goal is we are aiming to put out episodes um, each and every Monday, at least three Mondays out of the month a little bit more um, and just be a little bit more present, a little bit more active. As you can see, we are in our homes. We are not in the studio because we wanted to bring us to you. Hello. Mm-hmm. We right, Yeah, we right in your bed with you. <laughs> Ew. We laid up right with you. I mean, that's really your homes. That, that's yeah. where they want us low key. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you at least. I don't know. About no, 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 no. That's no, where they no. want you, dog. No, no, no. Us, hey, us as a whole. Us as a whole. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They want yeah, to so it. It's actually different this time around, guys. We like we found a solution. Instead of having to link up in the studio two hours away from each of us, we're yep. gonna just turn these mics on in our house, and we're gonna give you guys a lot more content. Absolutely, it's worth it. It's Alex, absolutely. do you remember when I used to refer to us as a threesome? Yeah, and I never agreed. <laughs> yeah, thank God. Like I do remember that too. <laughs> thank God. You just you wanted to be freaky so bad. Nah, that's before I knew what Diddy and Drake like. I, that's before like freakiness was out of style. Like freakiness is no longer a thing. Like, I would okay. never refer to us as like a threesome anymore. But it was a time where I did look at the pod and be like, "Oh, it's a threesome." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I seen some of that foresight was like, "Yo, let's get out of there. They mm-hmm. gonna think we all freaky." Yeah, yeah I haven't. I, let's re- I haven't, let's rebrand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't done that in quite some time. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. But yeah, let's let's give it up. There was a topic that we've had on the docket for like eighteen <laughs> months, and we've never talked about it. I don't know yeah. whose topic it was. Alex, Reggie, what- yeah. so it was. It's like a little inside joke between us now because like Alex put this topic on. Um, <laughs> like I think it was like two or three months ago on our. We have like a Google Doc, and yeah. then I was like, "Oh my god, I love this topic! Like it's so cute. Let's talk about it." And me and him were excited. We're like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah!" And then like we just never get to it every week. <laughs> but then Kieran puts it on the new doc every week. Every week, it's just funny. I don't know. It's, just funny. it's hilarious every week. Like when uh, Drake and Kendrick are doing their whole showdown. It's mm-hmm. just sitting up there at the top of the docket. No, I know. we're going to talk about it. Like, we know we're not going to talk about it, but it's just chilling there. But yeah, um, it's funny because Patreon is super dope because we get to get a little bit more interpersonal with the supporters and the people that really like us because you guys spend money and we love you. <laughs> so I don't know. I had one of these thoughts 
And I was like, uh, I forgot there was something that had happened to me. And I was like, man, if there was more of me, that would never occur. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I, yeah like i forgot what the scenario like like was. if like yeah. if everyone thought like me right like yeah, if yeah everyone yeah. thought exactly like me had my tendencies had my likes had my dislikes etc the world would be look very different <laughs> so personally speaking i guess i'll go first to kind of get you guys ready <clears throat> for instance if there were if the world was full of a bunch of me's there would be no pig shortage <laughs> <laughs> there will be no what? There will be no pig shortage. <laughs> he, you don't eat. He doesn't eat pork. Oh. Is what he's saying. They would roam around. You don't eat pork. I, I stopped in like 2016, 2017. Wait, how did I not know this? Because you, did, you say you don't either. see me eat. Yeah, 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 it's just turkey bacon. It's turkey bacon. I never knew this. Yeah, yeah. Imagine the world with just all the pigs. I'm blaming you two. All right, those poor pigs. All right, they should be roaming outside free and dirty. But y'all want pork, but y'all want pork rinds and bacon. Okay? I got to keep out for you. I know, like, it kind of gets religious when we talk about pork and stuff like that. I don't know if yours is, like, for religious purposes. But I just feel like everything we purpose. put... Fat, fat nigga purposes. Okay. It's, it's like for health that. purposes? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like everything is bad for you. Oh, yeah. Like when so I found out that when, gelatin is pork? that's the thing with me like everything is bad for you so how do you just focus on the pig like but i will say though I, pork yeah. is like literally the worst thing for you though like <laughs> she's like by the way that shit is bad it is because <laughs> it, it is because even like uh, not nutritionist yeah. like not biologist i forgot what she was like a scientist like she yeah. said what pigs consume and like sometimes their waste. Oh my god, I don't want to get too into it. I'm sorry because I know me and Savon both eat pork. Like their waste <laughs> literally cir circulates throughout their body. It's literally the worst thing we could eat. What? But I still, but I still eat. It. I don't, whatever. I don't know. Because you were real one. When I I'm found alive. Out... I don't know. <laughs> and you work out. You're healthy. Savon too. He not big. I just found out. <laughs> I had to unbig my back. I ain't gonna lie. That's my it. shit was big. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit ain't no problem with that. Once I found out that they had so many parasites. Like yeah. When we think about a parasite, we think about like things that just take over your body, consume your nervous system, etc. And then a lot of the times, like people will be hungry or something like that, or they'll mm -hmm. have these stomach pains and they're so reoccurring. And they go to the doctor and the doctor can't diagnose anything. The whole time it's a fucking parasite. Damn. Damn. I'm sorry I got so serious, y'all. See? A bunch of me. See? That's why the, it can't be a bunch of me's in the world. You see that? Mm -hmm. It got serious too quick. I'm sorry, y'all. It did get serious really quick. Okay. Like, God, so the qu the question was, the question was, if it wasn't clear, <laughs> Savon, how would the world be if it was full of yous? <laughs> full of a I'm, bunch of Savons. I am right. so afraid. <laughs> I am so afraid of that. If there was a bunch of me's, I think we would be a highly productive society. Oh, okay. brother. Okay. <laughs> That's a Capricorn answer, right, I think Reggie? we'd be a highly productive... I think, uh, we will get a lot done. Uh... I think we'd be a highly productive society. I think there'll yeah. be um, some rash decisions made, right? Like, some questionable right. things. We'd be like, damn, why would he do that? Or why would they do that? Extremes. Um, I think it'd be fun. I think I know how to have a good time in, in, in extremes, like you said, Alex. Like, yeah. one day we'll probably just lay up for a week. Like, we'll have couch week where everybody just sits on the couch and then the next week everybody's jumping out of a plane coked up and i don't oh do coke gosh. i don't do coke but like that's the type of extreme that i give you know what i'm saying like coke molly <laughs> all that type of shit look at Re Yo, reggie look at save all holidays instead of thanksgiving it's gonna be sleep on the couch day, <laughs> couch day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. i like that. couch day yeah. so it's, yeah. it's gonna be very extreme hot and cold uh four day work weeks i believe in that four day work weeks but in those yeah. four days it's probably gonna be like 12 hour shifts there's gonna be a lot of sex sometimes you know um sometimes fake reading you know i fake read and yeah i think i, I think it'll be a dope society low-key so I'm, you do fake read. Remember when you <laughs> came on the pod and you were like, "God, you were trying to tell us that you read a book," and Alex made fun of you. And <laughs> I was, and I was defending you, but Alex was right. <laughs> no, I did read at that time, but I've oh, bought like three books in the last year, and I haven't gotten through any of them. Oh, so I have read books here. Yeah. It's some. It's some about them Capricorns. LeBron James and you got the same disorder. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they start a book up, they read That's a few a pages. One. But you know what, though, to your point, is it because you were disinterested? And, Reggie, I want to get to your world because mm. I know it's going to be way better than what my world looked like and what Savon's world looked like. But is it disinterest, Savon? What is it? Nah, it's it's technology, bro. I got ADHD. 
I de- like I can't <laughs> sit and watch. Wait, a movie. but do you really though? Are you just saying that, or do you actually have? No, I don't know if I have it, but I feel like okay, I can't really. Because like, recently, I've been side tangents. Like I've been very. I don't know why it interests me so much, but like people who have ADHD, but they haven't been diagnosed until they're older. And then I've been reading a lot about like people who like really finally got that diagnosis and they like they're like whoa this like changed my life because like i know how to manage this now but i know you're not being that serious but i'm just saying if you think you have it i think i got something (laughs) i don't know what it is though yeah i really do all i think with smartphones and technology we all have some form of adhd something mm-hmm. yeah i can't like extent. i can't i can't focus on a chapter like i have to read half of a all chapter. right send this like, nigga back bad. to school yeah it's bad it's bad <laughs> nope send him it's back bad. put him on when the last time you read a book last week the art of the art of um what's the name by rick rubin <laughs> if you read it last week why don't you remember it because i don't be remembering titles like song titles right so it's send so your much- ass back to school nigga what no, the fuck but i took the knowledge i know what the knowledge was saying okay <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You want me to break it down for you? We gotta get to Reggie. Let's get to Reggie, man. All right, but I'll break it down. I go, for you I go to the library every week because it's next to the office. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in a world full of just me's, yeah. I think the the listeners, you guys, I feel like you guys know this. I love myself. I'm obsessed with myself. I think I'm a great person. So I like all my traits, but then I also realize that I do need balance. Like there cannot be a world with just a bunch of Reginas. We'll all be Trying to live like retired people. <laughs> That's not a problem. We well, would all be in bikinis. Not. <laughs> Why does your mind go there? We'd all just we'd all just go on Stay girls' me. trips. No guys' go trips. Yeah. Yes, go to sleep very early. I don't know. Although I love myself, I do re- recognize yeah. that I need opposites. Yeah. Um, what you call it? I do think it'll be a little too, a little too peaceful. Like, you need some problematic shit in there. Really? So, I would not want a world full of just me's. Also, if there was a world full of just me's, then I wouldn't be special. So, like, mm. why would I want that? I want to be special, but then if there was a bunch of bitches mm. that were like me, I'd be like, oh, my God. Ah, that just led me to my next question, y'all. Oh, okay, follow up. Wow, come on. We really in tune, even out of studio. I want to see how much y'all love yourselves real quick. It's okay Okay. if you don't love yourself that much. I don't think I love myself that much. That's why we're going to do this real quick. It's the barometer right here. If you had to fight for your name, would you do it? Like, if you had to fight to keep your name, that was the only... No, no, no. So you're going to... You're getting too free. (laughs) Slow it down now. (laughs) All right. Regina. If you... Like, if if you had to fight to keep Regina, do you love that name that much to to fight for? I'll answer. I don't. (laughs) I got a basic bitch name. I wouldn't Alex. fight for it. I wouldn't fight for it. I, I would. It. I was. I would probably say I would only because I like how it flows with my last name. Yeah, that shit is crazy. I would. That's the only reason I would like. I'm not. A, I'm not really attached to my name like that. But it is very yeah. distinctive. It is very distinctive. So whenever I have a conversation with anybody in podcasting, I'm like the only save on the podcast. You get what I'm like, it's fact. very distinctive, but the first and the last name, it looks good together. It sounds good together. So I may just fight for it. You I fight, you fight hard. You fight hard. I, I might just fight for my name, my first name for sure, <laughs> but only because you know of that reason. Other, do you know any other save ons? I do. I met a, yeah, yeah, yeah. My brother oh, had a friend named Savon actually. And he lived with me for a few years. Shout out to Savon. You, oh, live, was, you live oh. with another Savon? I did. <laughs> it was very weird. <laughs> Damn. He lived with a bunch of Savons. The world is his. Oh, my gosh. Um, I really like my name because um, it means queen in Latin. I really, really like my name. But, like, but I'm confused by your question because, like, yeah. Yeah. why i know i'm being annoying i should just answer the question but like why yeah. would i be fighting for my name though like what are what are the circumstances if, let's like, say you <laughs> lived in an alternate uh, uh 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 country let's say it was a dictatorship for some reason i'm just making shit up we on the fly we flying right now okay and the united states of america said hey everyone is required to have a different first name oh and if you want to keep your name you got to fight the per- other people that got it so a group of Johns got to fight a group of Johns. Boop, 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 duke it out. And the last man Mad standing is John. Johns. See, that's the other thing. See too. what I'm saying? 
my pool is so small because there's really not a lot of Savons. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, I, I might be the first Savon ever named in the history <laughs> of the United States in 1994. Like, there's a ton of Alexes, a you ton see? of Johns, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of Reginas. So for me, I, I don't feel like I got, I got to fight that hard for my shit. And then if I'm the only one yeah. that's like, it, it's dope, like, yes, uh, I feel bad for y'all. Y'all gotta fight. I, I ain't fighting them niggas. Don't feel bad for me. I'm gonna change my shit to Paul. Because <laughs> are you the illest yeah. Alex? My fault, huh? No oh, offense I, to any Pauls. No I mean, I mean Pauls. if we're being honest, I am. But but the name itself, if I was that ill, nobody else would have it. So I'm not too attached to it, no. You think you got McQueen? Oh, never mind. Oh. <laughs> Matter of fact, saying? let me think about it. Let me think about it. He got, they might have more money, but I got more souls. Mm. But they are literally the sauce. I ain't gonna lie. And no, I'm no, not no, saying no. they, but like Alexander McQueen, the McQueens is a real thing. I don't know. Hey, you got more competition than me, bro. I know. That's all and I know. That, I know. And then my full name, Alexander. I would have to fight the Alexes and the Alexanders. It's too much. <laughs> it's, it's too much. Uh, I wouldn't fight for my name because I don't, I don't fight. I don't know. She was gonna say. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how to fight, so I can't. I can't win. So, but, but what if you you had moves like a ninja? That was racist. No, um, no. <laughs> um, I'm bugging. That was not. I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Okay. I would just be like, name me something else. I don't care. Just name you something else. That's it. Yes. All right, we in the same boot, man. We don't give a fuck about our shit, Reggie, have you ever been in a fight? 